Ah, all right then. Time to get started. Wait, where's my references? Oh no, did I close down my references? <laughs> I did. Typical. Let's just go grab those back then. Where is Therapod? There she is. Grab that one. And that one. Big fluffy Godzilla. All right then, there we go. Good morning, every no, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, good afternoon, good day, good time zone. <laughs> you might be hearing noises. Uh, just as I started the stream, the cats are now playing in boxes. So if you hear a bit of a scraping in the background, that is a cat doing what they do. And that is making noise as soon as I start talking. <laughs> I swear, they do it every time, and I don't know why or how, but every time I begin a stream, that's when the cats go noom. That's when they get the zoomies. Oh, I don't know. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Afternoon. Good day. Just quickly reading the chats. Another slow day? Yeah, to be fair, I'm probably going to have a slow day as well. I'll be honest, I am very tired. I am extremely tired, so I might be I might be quite a bit slow myself. I'm okay, but I'm completely fine. You know how it is. Every now and then, you just get like exhausted. Let me just quickly. In fact, yeah, everything's good. Um, what breed of cat? I've got two cats. One of them's a Maine Coon, and the other one is a I don't know what Oliver is. Oliver's ginger. It's like it's half white and half stripy ginger. I don't know. Maybe there's a name for it. Tabby? It's not a tabby, is it? No, absolutely not a tabby. But Luna's a big majestic Maine Coon who's currently staring at me. Aren't you? Okay, now she's back to grooming. And it's playing with a box. And Luna's idea of playing with a box is scratching it. <laughs> like, not even hard, you know, not even to make marks. She just likes making the noise, I swear. She genuinely likes making the noise. Lovely cat. <laughs> And yeah, it's good to see everyone. Am I a JoJo fan? No. No, I'm not a JoJo fan, but I know a lot of people in the community who are. So I kind of like have absorbed some information via other people, <laughs> but I've never seen it myself. All right then. Let me get started then. Uh, so for those who missed yesterday's stream, this is the commission we did, which is Annie's character, which is mid falling. Which, hence the weird, you know, positioning. She's like mid falling over because she's just a big silly goof. I like it. I'm really happy that it came out. And today, we are going to be doing a big fluffy Godzilla. Floofzilla. I should watch it. I've really thought about trying, like, watching uh, Jojo. But every time I, like, see anything about it, it's just... I know it's the entire thing, you know. It's, it's weird, right? It's meant to be weird. I don't really like weird. I'm very boring. I'm a very, very boring person. <laughs> Whenever I've looked into it, it just did not appeal to me, if I'm going to be completely honest. I should give it a try, though. I really should. Let me... Before I get started, actually, um, let's do a... Let's see, like, Godzilla roaring. Maybe like that. I want to get, like, a certain stance, a certain pose. What about a... T-Rex roaring. Hey, I like that one. Okay, I might have a pose that I want for this. That's perfect. Found it. I found a pose I want. It's a tiny image though. Damn it, can I have a bigger image? Google, please. There we go. That's more like it. I know you can't see, obviously. Uh, th thanks, Luna. Just jumped my arm. This is the kind of pose I'm going to be going for. Something very hunched over and roaring because that's what Theropod wanted. The uh, buyer. That's what she wanted was like her character to be like kind of hissing. Do like a bit of a threat display. Adjusting my chair. There we go. Yes, a screonk pose. <laughs> that's a good way of saying it actually. So let me... Let me start with then just the character itself like let's do what i did yesterday where i made the the uh made a mannequin before i actually got anything started so let's see it's a very very large creature is that godzilla it's a godzilla based character yeah 
It's called Floofzilla, which as you can tell, is very fluffy. <laughs> and I get the wonderful opportunity to draw it and I'm really excited. Let's see. Merge down. So that's a nice low resolution. The furious typing in the background is just hilarious. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, my keyboard is very, very loud. <laughs> I've, uh, I used to try and, you know, be quiet when I type, but I find I end up just being really clumsy whenever I try to be quiet and it takes longer for me to actually write things. So I, oh, go away. So I've long since decided, oh, screw it. I'm just gonna keyboard rage. <laughs> it'll be, it'll be like a lot quicker that way. Your keyboard is satisfying. I'm glad. You know what's funny, right? Is that I really can't stand ASMR. Like it borderline hurts my ears whenever I hear ASMR. And yet keyboard typing is the one thing I do not mind. It is weirdly satisfying and I don't know why. It's kind of weird, isn't it, when you think about it? Hello, Sammy. I see the feathers are based on a bearded vulture. It looks like it, doesn't it? Have you seen a new mod for Lisa Nautical which adds a gargantuan leviathan? I have, yeah. And wasn't it gargantuan that it added only a juvenile? It was massive. God, can you like actually imagine seeing, like naturally seeing that in the game? That sounds terrifying. On the one hand, I kind of wanted to try it, but on the other hand, I don't think I could. <laughs> it looked... Ter oh, there actually is an adult one now? Really? <gasps> that sounds horrible. Good job to the modders though. Like imagine like actually modding it in, like how long that must have taken to um, just, just make it work, to be honest. They added both the juvenile and the adults uh, in the Lost River. Wait, in the Lost River? How does it even fit in the Lost River? That's crazy. Okay, yeah, I need to look that up after the stream then. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I wanna look it up now. Give me a sec. We, we just we just started, that's okay. We, we, we just started. Um, Gargantuan... Oh, this is one of the top results, actually. Where's the adult one? Gargantuan Leviathan adult. Mod progress? Oh. You said I was in a lost river. I can't even imagine that. Oh my god, look at the size of that head. <laughs> it's so glitchy. It's kind of what I expected, really. Oh my goodness, that is ridiculous. It really is the size of a mountain. What? In the Lost River? Really? Or is it just based on the original one? But probably based on the skeleton. I'll get back to drawing in a moment. Don't you worry at all. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> I think it broke. <laughs> oh no, it's frozen, that's why. Oh my god, that is absolutely silly though. Okay, yeah, I think it's a little bit glitchy. I I'm gonna spend some time, like, after the stream and watch it properly. Like, I'm obviously rushing because I'm in the middle of a dream. Uh, stream, excuse me, dream? I am in the middle of a dream, aren't I? Everything's a dream, nothing's real. Anyway, I will check that out, like, properly after the stream. God, that is mental. That's really cool, though, that I actually managed to do that. Yeah, the juvenile is massive, isn't it? It is a mod, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is a mod. God, can you imagine that's like a as an actual in-game thing? The Judas spawns in the Lost River and the adults in the void. Okay, I guess it actually makes a lot of sense that it would spawn in the Lost River. That does make sense. That's just still such a giant entity in such a cramped environment. That's crazy, man. It is it is silly, yeah. I completely agree. <laughs> you did a commission stream yesterday. That's true. I did. And I'm doing another one now. What am I using to draw? Um, I'm using ZBrush. ZBrush is a software. And I am using a graphics tablet. I think it's a Wacom. One sec. I'm using an Intuos Pro Wacom tablet. 
I'm not very good at tablets, so I just I just have it. <laughs> I just got it one day and it was good. Yes, Jenny Beanie, I'm making Therapod's character. How much do commissions cost? They vary. Uh, my commission costs do vary. If you give me one second, I'll send you a link. Here we go. My cheapest one is £15, and the one I'm currently doing right now is £20. There we go. Right then. How long is Therapod's tail? Or uh, Flufzilla's tail, actually. It's about... I'd say about, about one and a half times the length of the entire body. Probably more like twice, actually. Oh, the screen went black. No, the screen's back. Okay, cool. Let's just do that then. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. So something like... That's a bit too long. Bring that back in. So something to about that length. The positioning's not final. But about that length, I think, is about correct. It's got a very, very, very long ta uh, long tail. Hello, mind move. Welcome, nice. I have one, uh, but it reconnects to a monitor and I draw using Photoshop. Ah, I see. And good morning, Storm. Good to see you again. I can't remember if I just said hi, mind wolf. I'm going to say it again anyway. Hi, mind wolf. <laughs> Which tablet is cheaper, an art display or just a normal art tablet? Off the top of my head, I don't know. I think like a normal art tablet is probably cheaper. I use normal art tablets. I personally think that a display tablet is um, really gimmicky and not necessary. It just costs more. But if you if you can afford it though, good for you. <laughs> Maybe it will help. But I, I just like using regular tablets myself. Let's see then. For the posing, let's just put like one thigh to about around here, I'd say. Oh no, Sly, I hope the connection fixes. And Storm, thank you, I was actually glad the need to hydrate. Mm. I did forget to bring water actually, but I did my tea. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And yeah, it was good to see the Discord so active last night, it was really nice. It was nice to... I don't, I don't mean to complain, or like I'm not trying to complain, but I feel like that lately there's not been like very much conversation on Discord. It was really nice to see there was so much of it last night. It was really, really good to see. I don't know what it is, man. I just, I just like conversations. <laughs> like everyone, of course, you know, comes on and says like, hey, how you doing? Everyone like catches up and talks to each other, which is lovely to see. But it's nice like actually seeing topics. I'd love to see a Godzilla movie with a feathered Godzilla. I gotta say, like, Therapod's idea of a feathered Godzilla is really, really cool. I can say it being a bit polarizing for some people. I know, you know, feathers aren't for everyone. But it's just like a really cool idea, isn't it? All the big plumage. It looks awesome. I was wondering, because the display has a screen built in and I can barely afford a good, uh, a good pen tablet. Oh, um... Yeah, okay, so in that case, I'm fairly sure, like, I'm not 100%, but I'm fairly sure that a regular pen tablet is a lot cheaper. Now, let me, let me see what somebody said. Give me a second. Oh, Zomi. Oh, fair enough, then. I, was just, I thought somebody had something to say about uh, tablets, but she's talking about her own experience. So I've seen that some people, I'm just going to change the music, the music's really annoying. There we go. I've seen some people swear by uh, screen tablets. Some people really, really require them. And I can see the perk of a screen tablet because it's like you're, you know, drawing on paper. It's like you're actually, you know, your pen marks are actually affecting the screen, if that makes sense. Whereas for myself, you know, I, I could never afford one. Uh, when I had one as a kid... The first one I got was just a very standard uh, screen tablet. And so yeah, you, you do have to learn hand-eye coordination. It does require a bit of practice to get used to, you know, using the pen and looking at your monitor instead of your paper or your board or whatever. But I think it's worth it because it does save a lot of money. It's not that hard to learn. It's a little bit awkward at first, as is most things in life. But as soon as you get used to it, I, I just think it's fine. I never, I still haven't used a screen tablet, so maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just missing out. But I think it's fine. And again, much, much cheaper. 
much cheaper. I think it's bearded vulture. I'm not entirely sure. It feels like it. Well, Notorious Titan, uh, its neck does actually bulge. Um, I'm not sure like the correct terms that Therapod described it with, but the neck does uh, puff out when it's roaring. And we will be seeing that here. Hello, Rag. Good morning. Yeah, my very first tablet. So I remember I asked my mum for a, uh, like when I was much younger, I asked for my mother for a graphics tablet. And again, we didn't really have much money. So understandably, she bought me like this really crappy small one. It was, <laughs> I think the actual screen space I could physically draw on, it was about the size of a phone, like a mobile phone, like an iPhone or a Samsung. It was a really, really, really tiny drawing surface. But she got me that one because she didn't want to spend a fortune on something I might not, not ever use again, which is completely fair. I really liked it. I got used to it. She bought me a slightly bigger one, another really cheap one, but a slightly bigger one. It was a Wacom Bamboo. I think it cost about £70. And I used that for about 10 years. I would still be using that Bamboo tablet now if it weren't for the fact that I was given my current one. I got my current one for free. From um, one of Kev's friends. I was very, very, very lucky. Once you get used to a regular tablet, it's smooth, smoother than a button of baby's ass. That's, no, I, that's, that's a common metaphor. Don't worry, Tommy. It comes supernaturally if you keep using it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's just practice, as is everything in life. And that is a weird metaphor that is used surprisingly frequently. So, mate, no shame. Screen tablets aren't necessary. Personally, regrets getting mine instead of a real second monitor. Oh, I would absolutely get a second monitor. A second monitor, I feel like that, even if it's like a really crappy small one, just having a second monitor next to like your, your laptop or whatever when you go dual monitor you never go back it's just convenient it's so incredibly convenient as like for what i do in sport for example in sport i always have just like a reference for my second monitor that's it you know i might just have a picture there doing nothing else but having it there instead of like frequently tabbing in and out it's just great or I have Discord there where I'm playing a game so I can still talk to people or like, you know, write at people while doing things on my main monitor. Like right now, I can see you guys in the chat on my other monitor. I'd recommend that before getting a screen tablet. Do you think Sport ever get old for you? It technically already has. Um, I'll be honest, Sport is already old for me. It's been old for a very, very long time, but I don't mind that though. I, I don't mind playing old games. I still enjoy it, and whenever I get burnt out, I don't play it. <laughs> there we go. I wanted to ask, if you could own a game, what game would it be? And also, why does YouTube have a 200 character limit when Twitch doesn't? Oh, um, <laughs> Storm. So first of all, thank you very much, and happy 2021 to you too. Second, the character limit, I don't know. Blame YouTube. <laughs> if I was to own a game... So do you mean own as in like buy ownership or do you mean it's in make? This music is getting quite loud. Give me a sec. There we go. Um, if I was to like pick up ownership of a game, that sport would be like a great, great choice. I'd, I'd do a lot for sport. But if I was to make my own game, honestly, if I was to make my own game, I'd like to make a survival game. I get money for who buys it. Hmm. Probably Spore then, yeah. <laughs> if I could just buy Spore outright, that'd be great. <laughs> it would never happen, but that'd be great. <laughs> but if I can make a game, I'd love to make a uh, survival game. It's, I, I really like Ark. I really, really, really like Ark. And I would love to do a game similar to that. Like, quite different. I'd have a lot of my own things in mind, but something like that. How would that black bat creature from Godzilla look like feathered black bat? Oh, the Muto. Oh, that'd be interesting. And Ghidorah with, fe Ghidorah with feathers would be cool. That'd be extremely cool. Copy pasta prevention. No, I don't know about the YouTube chat. Like, why there's a limit there. It's I I've not added a limit at all. It was um, it's like a YouTube thing. It might be. Yeah, it might be copy pasta prevention. Let's just grab that back in. Right. So let me just. 
Make that symmetry symmetrical, make that symmetrical, and make that symmetrical. No. And let's just merge everything in just slightly. Right now it's looking very wide. What's going on? There we go. Uh, like I said earlier, this will be posed. So for now it does look a little bit awkward, but it will be posed quite soon. A game just like Ark, but you can make dancers like Spore, combine the game. Also, I don't have the latest Ark DLC, very sad. I have all the way up to Extinction. Something between Ark and Spore would be absolutely incredible, not gonna lie. That would be really, really, really amazing. Oh, could you imagine that? Like a really competitive, like maybe maybe not competitive, <laughs> but imagine like um, a game like that, like a proper hardcore survival game, but you have like that kind of flexibility to develop your creature. That'd be so, so cool. I would love that. I remember back when Extinction was first coming out, and Thomnia actually had a theory that was going to be a thing. It didn't happen, sadly. But he had a theory that uh, basically what ended up happening was, you know, we can make mechs and make um, scouts and the attack drones, forgot what they're actually called, those ones. But I remember when he was first hyping up Extinction, he thought it was going to be like a proper like spore-like thing. Oh, I wish, I wish. Can you imagine that? Why don't you make arc videos? I do need to get back to making arc videos. I really do, actually. Let me just quickly save this. I do miss, like, I stream arc. I stream arc quite often, actually. But I do really miss making uh, more videos, like just sitting back and doing a let's play. I, I miss that a lot. Little Theraport, Floofzilla. And T, Hydrate. Spore and Ark, Spark. You have to murder dinosaurs and they drop parts. You can use the Frankenstein your own dinos. That honestly sounds really cool. Oh, I see. Astral. That's, that sounds good. Just finishing my tea. One moment, guys. <laughs> finishing my tea. Hmm. A good cup of tea. I do like a nice good cup of tea and I'm sufficiently hydrated now. Ark is good. Uh, Ark is good. Oh, I've played modern series of Primal Fear. I've actually done that before. I did do like an entire modern series of Primal Fear and it was really, really fun. One thing I'd love to do again actually is uh, like another modded mayhem. So for those who don't know, I did have like a long running modded mayhem playthrough where we all just like me and the patrons experienced modded arc for the first time and it was just such chaos it was fantastic i do still have more footage for, for that so i should make more videos when i can but i've been thinking about doing it again i've been thinking about doing another modded mayhem because it's just really fun <laughs> going into the game with like all these crazy ridiculous new creatures that we've got no idea what's going on and just feeling lost and confused it was fantastic Storm! What if you can make your own mechs with own weapons or attack types and make your own mega builds inside arc so like bosses tame them or ride them like flying around with a great red dragon? Dude, that'd be insane. And thank you by the way, thank you for the donations and super chats. Oh god, that'd be so cool. That's one thing I do wish there was more of in Spore was that I feel like after the creature stage, and I guess technically the space stage in adventures, there just isn't really much to do with the creature. Like, yeah, you can cust like you can customize the appearance, but stat-wise, it's just really unfulfilling, I find. Like it, there could be more, like, it could be better, it could be um more impactful. Like imagine you know, you know, like kinda of like the flying parts, right? It's a thought actually. In Spore, the flying parts are probably one of the most um impactful things. Same as stealth, but then a lot of the other parts, like the damage, the social, etc., they're all just like a little bit weak and a bit boring. It'd be really cool if in Spore, just your your uh, the stat parts you add on just had more impact. 
I hope all of you have a great and beautiful day and amazing people have a great day and hope you're okay. Just want to say thank you for the greater of this channel, for everything and no need to thank you. I'm going to thank you. Daniel Ma, that's really sweet. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And unknown, thank you as well. Made happy to. I'm happy to, happy to have been a source of entertainment. That's really awesome. Welcome back, Rudy. And Kitty Lord. Yeah, I do need to get back to more Let's Plays again. It's going to be hard to replicate those feelings as there's no, no new mods such as Primal Fear and Extinction Core. Oh, Dark Hall is true. So there's no new ones, you're right, but there's a lot of mods I've never experienced, like uh, Pugnacia. Now, I know obviously, you know, like it all comes down to the same shtick, doesn't it? Where everything is big, overpowered, colourful creature. Like, I, I know that's the case, right? It's all kind of like the same thing. But it's more like... You know, you know, you know what it's like, right? When you see that big, new, powerful, colourful creature and you don't know if it's going to one-shot you or if it's just going to wreck you. There's that, like, that mystery, you know? That feeling of the unknown, like seeing it for the first time. That's what I love about Ark and other survival games. That feeling of the unknown where you just had to take a chance, where you see this big, scary thing and it might be completely passive or I might completely wipe you and you have no idea that you're seconds away from oblivion. <laughs> Again, the, the, the mystery. SCP mods? Oh god. Things, um, I can't spend too much money, I'm running low, low on cost, so I can't do many super chats, but yeah, maybe make more types of stats and attacks. Oh, mate, mate, if, if you're running low on money, please, like, don't feel like you got a super chat all the time. Like, I appreciate it, don't get me wrong. But I never want you to uh, feel like you have to. Only ever support me, so long as you can support yourself. I'd rather you guys support yourself first. And give me one second. Right, there we go. But thank you, thank you very, very much. Uh, more, make more types of stats and attacks, like something like dodging or guns in a way. Dodging would be really cool. It'd be nice to have more defensive stats, actually. Yeah, there does need to be more de defensive stats in general, like uh, imagine a shield. As in, you know, the creature, like in Spore, imagine a creature buckles down and shields like an armadillo or a turtle. Little things like that. I mean, maybe it'd prevent you from getting one shot by an epic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a shield in Spore. When you spawn into a modded Redwoods, hee <laughs> hee, I'm in danger. Exactly. Dino Overhaul X is pretty good for making uh, the game a lot harder. Noted, noted. Why not just replace the symbiosis? Yes, I would love that. Oh yeah, like some kind of symbiotic thing would be really, really cool. Right, let me just move that further up. Let's make the entire tail a bit bigger. Because it is a Godzilla creature after all. It's going to have like a really very, very large tail. Which isn't finished by the slightest. Or even a tech shield that uses its own energy um, where you had to go into missions and gain tech and element. Oh, you just gave me an idea. Oh, I like that. You know, you'll never forget the time you spawned into a primal Giga's foot. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing actually. So on the topic of like mystery and such in games like Ark, uh, one of the first times you ever tried out primal fear. Now, we saw a primal Giga now. For those of you guys who don't know, the Giga in Ark, like the Giganotosaurus, is a really, really giant and already terrifying dinosaur. Like, it's the kind of thing that, if it's like a mini boss. If you see it, it'll probably destroy you. Now, in Primal Fear, which is, which is a mod, like a, a big conversion mod, in Primal Fear, a Primal Giga was a mini boss times by a thousand. And I'm not even kidding, a thousand probably accurate. It was just a bigger, bigger, scarier, mean, meaner boss. And it was so huge, and therefore so glitchy, that when it walked, it floated. So, us lot, <laughs> who had never seen Primal Fear before, just saw this giant, pure black and red, glowing, flying Giga. And it was one of the scariest things we had seen. <laughs> it was downright flying because it was so giant it couldn't walk properly. 
it was in the it was in uh, one of the starter areas in Ragnarok as well. So it's like in a newbie area. Yeah, Isaki, it was on stream. I'm pretty sure it was on stream. So a lot of you guys may have seen it as well. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's on a uh, highlight somewhere. I hope it is. Can I just name the Primal? Can I just say that Primal Fears are perfect? Cause that is the exact emotion you feel the moment you load in. Yep. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? What would be kind of the selling points about it? Oh, right, Ark. Uh, hmm. A selling point for Ark. Dinosaurs. No, 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 no. Like a, a more serious answer. What would be a selling point for Ark? It's it's challenging. It's not stupidly hard, but if you get a... Right. Sorry, let me rephrase that. So, Ark is a nice challenging game. It's not a super hard game, but it can be punishing, but it can also feel very rewarding if you do like certain activities. It can be very social. It can also be very single play if you want it to be. You can play like by yourself or with a friend and you'll just get like a great experience either way. It's got PvP, it's got PvE. You've got options in terms of what you want to do. And you can collect creatures like it's Pokemon and just tame things, or you can uh, build big armies and do like a raid like you would in an MMO. It's surprisingly diverse in what you can do in the game. And the best part is, is dinosaurs. Did I mention it's got dinosaurs? It's got a lot of dinosaurs in it. <laughs> that was my selling point. It's basically Minecraft in regards to it could be creative, it could be explorative, it could be challenging or competitive however i will say that it's also hard for new players if you've never played a survival game before it can be challenging but a lot of us are normally happy to help like i'm always happy to answer questions i've got no problem oh but but but, but uh, most important thing though the most important thing about arc is that if you want to buy arc i would recommend doing it during a sale uh, as much as I love the game, it's really overpriced in my honest opinion. <laughs> but it goes on sale extremely often. So you can't go wrong waiting for a Steam sale and then get it for cheap. I love the game, but I think uh, like £50 is too much. Storm, I hope I can join art games now that I've got your Patreon because I'd love to have play games with you. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I hope so. We do have an art server right now, although it's currently in standby. Uh, our current Ark server cluster is beginning to close, but that's because we're waiting for Genesis Part 2, which is scheduled March. You know, fingers crossed, it's actually coming out in March. <laughs> Whenever it does come out, I will be hosting a new server uh, for everyone to come play on. Hello, Daxoid, welcome. Make sure your computer can handle it. Yes. Oh, yes. That's another good point about Ark. It's uh, really unoptimized. So be prepared to potentially refund it if your PC can't handle it. By the way, just want to note that this model, which is in ZBrush, by the way, for those asking, this is ZBrush, and I'm making a fluffy Godzilla. I know the posing is really off, like it's about to fall on its face. Uh, this is intended. Uh, the really weird posing is completely intended. I'm still, like, working on it. I'm so glad you got Ark for free. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. I got Ark when it was an early access, so I got it really cheap. I mean, I got my I got my money's worth, you know. If I did pay for like the full version, uh, let me rephrase. If I paid for the full price and it got released, I would have made my money back easily by now, just in value. But knowing a lot of people struggle to get into it, I can't really recommend it at its full price. It's a great game, but a lot of people struggle to get into it. Arc is good if you have 15 NASA computers. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's true, yes. Epic Games did do a giveaway, didn't they? They gave it away for free one day. And the sales, like I said, it goes on sale very frequently, and the sales are normally like 80% off. It's really, really good. How am I going to do the head on this? The first time I tamed a creature in Ark, it was a pink dodo with a pink head, and they got eaten by raptors. Oh. Yeah, that 
sadly happens. The game is brutal. It's just mean and takes away everything you love repeatedly. But like I said, though, that's that's what I like in a game. I like games being hard and brutal because it feels more satisfying when, you know, you do your thing. Right, let me just... That's not what I want to do at all. I just want to split that apart. Give me a second and do that. So that I can done mesh that, done mesh that, move that over there, and then do that. Aw, it looks adorable. Just change that around to that alpha there. Yeah, Sammy, I agree. The proportions on this are really unusual, aren't they? It does a very unusual proportions. It makes it a lot more fun to draw, in my opinion. I really care more about others than myself. Uh, oh, wait, what's this storm? Oh, bless you. And what did Guy say? Yeah, I, I do agree with Guy. <laughs> that, uh, like, even if you care more for others, you definitely should still look after yourself. And Storm, I do find that extremely sweet. Thank, like, really, thank you very much. But may I stand by it. Make sure you look after yourself as well. Oh, bless you. You do? Good, good, good. That is really sweet of you, though. Thank you very much. Diago, welcome. Yes, this is a, it's, it's a Godzilla-like character. It's basically Godzilla, yeah. And welcome. And just do that. Oh, that worked quite effectively, actually. I need to blow my nose. Give me one moment. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Oh, Godzilla, did I... Did someone call you a name? I was referring to the model. And now that Rakdos is hydrated, it reminds me I need to get a drink. Give me one second. I need water. Hydrating is very healthy. And thank you <laughs> for making me drink more. <laughs> right then, I'm just adjusting my chair. Excuse me. And hello, Adio Dato. Welcome, mate. And Marina, welcome as well. There we go. I'm back. Water checkpoint. Exactly, Adrian. Right then, and I'm back. And good morning, good day, Maeva. Welcome to you as well. Oh, that went wrong. Right, let me think. A storm, that is really strange. Um, whoa, has that gone smoothly? <laughs> it has, hasn't it? It's been half an hour, has it already? Oh, wow, it has. Our time flies. Can you encounter and tame the dead Rex all the time, or does it only work in Halloween? Junus, uh, only in certain events, Halloween being one of them, I think you can summon a dead Rex during like Christmas and... Uh, what's the other one? Thanksgiving? But uh, I think it only spawns naturally during the, the uh, Halloween event, yeah. I'm not 100% sure, I think that's the way it works. Right, let's do that. Let's grab some eyes. As it actually has rather big eyes. <laughs> Little dot eyes, yes. <laughs> you can only summon during events. After that, you can't spawn him until the next event. That's what I thought. Thank you. Yeah, I thought that may have been the case. I know that the Dodo Rex and the Dodo Wyvern can spawn naturally during uh, Halloween. But yeah, so you're right then. Or I'm right even. Uh, you can summon it during events. 
I need to sneeze. You know that feeling where you get a sneeze that's like stuck and you know you need to sneeze but it just, just won't it just won't happen. <laughs> Please sneeze. No, it left. Okay then. <laughs> of course it did. Hello Peaky Pie, welcome mate. Derpy eyes? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a it's meant to be like a bit cartoonish. Wasn't there this creature in Godzilla movies that went up to the stratosphere? Would that not have been Ghidorah? No, I don't know actually. Hmm, I'm not sure. I, I think that'd be Ghidorah. I've only ever watched Legendary uh, Godzilla, so I'm actually not really that familiar when it comes to a lot of the um, other stuff. I feel like this jaw here is just weirdly big. There we go. Was it Muto too? Hmm, maybe. I feel like I may have got the head a bit big. Yeah, I did actually. So let me just quickly unmask that, that, and to make the entire head a bit smaller. There we go. So if I do all that, and then I can enable that, just do that. Nope. Try that again. Okay, good. It's got a really small head. I've actually never noticed how small this character's head is. That's more like it. Yeah, the proportions really are interesting. Oh, it was Ghidorah. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I know that Ghidorah. Like, isn't Ghidorah meant to be like the alien one? Where it literally came from another planet. So it makes sense it can reach the stratosphere. At least as far as I'm aware. Alright then, Dragon Pixie. And thank you, by the way. I saw you saying that this, this looks very relaxing to do or um, enjoyable. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Take care. But like a more theropod dinosaur? Good. Good, that's exactly what I'm after. It's a more theropod one. Right. Is there anything else I'm really missing? The fingers, of course. I'm missing the fingers. Um... I feel like I may have made the legs here just a little bit too wide. Let's just go ahead and make that bit here a bit flatter. That's more like it. Good. Hydrate. I shall. Thank you. Me, me. And Pukey Pie. <clears throat> thank you for the gift of stuff to Mind Morph. And Mind Morph, congratulations. Really hoping you see a Gigan. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do that again. Really hoping you see a Gigan, Leg a Gigan in Legendary Godzilla. That'd be really cool. Oh, the one I want to see really badly. Like, again, I'm not really that familiar with Godzilla. I just know like a couple of characters. I would love to see probably Gamera, to be honest. I think Gamera would be cool. But absolutely De Destoroya. Oh, I'd love to see Destoroya. Like, as someone who's not familiar with the lore, I just think that Destoroyer's model is like is, the design is so like badass looking. Monster X is another one I thought looks really cool. But man, that's Destoroyer. I want that. I think Ghidorah is a space dweller and normally doesn't go to planets, but I think once he raided a Mars alien station city, so yeah, he's he has more space than Earth. Oh right. Oh interesting. Okay, then actually did not know that. Biolante, of course. Mecha wait, Mecha Godzilla's confirmed. Ooh, that'd be really cool. I right, so I know obviously it's you know not Godzilla, but that reminds me, Mecha Godzilla in Ready Player One. That looks awesome. I loved that. And so yeah, seeing like seeing an actual legendary Mecha Godzilla, Biolante as well. Oh, that'd be so cool. I like the Godzilla anime. He is kind of the god of the god of the void. I do need to watch the anime again. That's that's Godzilla Earth, right? I I loved Godzilla's design. I just really hate the anime itself. <laughs> I would like to watch it, but I never finished it, so I never actually got to see Ghidorah in it. I'd love to see that again, or I like actually see it. Magic the Gathering is so a Godzilla set of cards in the official card expansion. Really? And Mothra is the most expensive card in the set? That's really cool. Could you possibly do a modding, modeling tutorial? 
Oh, um, a modeling tutorial. I'd, I'd be happy to do one, but I'm not sure how I'd do it. Like, what I'd actually do in it, you know? Hmm. What can I, what can I do in a modeling tutorial? Do you mean, like, uh, go over the software? Or just general technique? Got a message on Discord one moment. Summy! <laughs> Summy! <laughs> Thank you for... Hey, guys. A boat. <laughs> that was really unexpected. <laughs> I love you, Sommy. Thank you very much for that. I need water. Give me a sec. Oh, excuse me. Jesus. <laughs> that is what peak performance looks like, yeah. New Discord emote. I gotta make that new Discord emote. I, I, that frothing one is too good not to make a Discord emote. Oh god, I was not prepared for that at all. <laughs> How big is the fingers compared to the body? A bit. I think I'm about the right size, actually. Oh dear. Livy, I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Wow. Right, <laughs> what are we talking about? The dark colours, I need to check that after the stream. I just saw that you said you posted one. Posted the um, the toy line. Oh god. I love googly. You know what I should do one day? Oh, I need to do like a really, really serious sculpture. Right? Like maybe like a, of like a bigger Rex or something. I don't know. And just stick googly eyes on it. Googly eyes are too good, man. They're, they're just too good. Make everything better. Is anybody ever prepared for Sommy? No. <laughs> and Wicta, yeah, well, can't help it. <laughs> Enjoy. No such thing. Yeah, indeed. Biblically, biblically, biblically accurate angel, but every eye is a googly eye. That sounds awful. <laughs> You are the agent of, of chaos? Yes, you are, Sommy. Yes, you are. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, Google Eyes and Ark. There should be a Google Eyes mod. There, there's got to be a Google Eyes mod. Hold on. This is important. I must find out. I'm logging in. Damn it. Log in faster. Is there. Go, go away. Is there a Google Eyes mod in Ark? There's gotta be, man. There's gotta be. No, there isn't. Ah. Oh. Is that a werewolf? What the hell? Oh, weird. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I want a googly eyes. You're here for the furry Godzilla? Good, welcome. Right. Let's get back to drawing then, shall we? Let's get back to this. Hello, Storm. Honestly, I think a glad angel would be even more terrifying. Oh, for sure, for sure. What what is this uh, biblical angel thing then? So I know I know what they are, right? I know what they are. But it's just something like appears to become like a big meme. Or not not like a meme per se, but I've seen like it mentioned a lot recently. Like, what what started it? Storm. Let me, me, I just saw something sing again. Oh God, Storm. It it reminds me of um, it's it's it's, it's a duck. <laughs> it just looks like a duck. Oh dear. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Quack. 
Quackzilla. I wonder how difficult it would be to make Ugly Eye to Ark. I would love it. You'd not be like really the best thing ever. Like, I, I don't know if this is possible in Ark, but what would be really, really amazing, right? It was just a simple mod that slaps Google Eyes and everything, but the little black parts of the eyes of pupils actually have physics where they like bounce around a little bit whenever the creature moves. Like, I feel like, I feel like it could probably have like a really simple algorithm to do that. I don't know though how modding works. But like imagine like a very simple physics algorithm where just the black part is gravity. It's not very hard. <gasps> I need it. Not not that you should do it, Dark Hollis. I know you're obviously you're very Billy, but I'm a bit, bit Billy, busy. But I need it. <laughs> right, there we go. And now we've got the hands. That's all done, that's all done. The storm, <laughs> enjoy yourself, and I'll see you in a moment. People make these memes of angel of angels because most expect them to look human, but get accurate angels are a bit creepy, that's why. Yeah, like I said, I do know what they are, like what biblically bi biblical angels are. But it's more so like where this uh where everyone's been referencing it from. Like it's been very sudden, I feel like. Or I've just missed something, that's entirely possible. I was just curious. Hello, Guy. Welcome back. Right then, let me just make the arms a bit smaller because I made them far too large. And again, for people just tuning in now, the current posturing is intended because this will actually be um, in a in a pose quite soon. I think maybe now actually. That looks ready to start posing. I think. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, your plate your plate is slightly full, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> uh tabs the accurate angel, do it landfall. Wait, what? Oh dear. Alright then, alright then. For the tail. So how am I actually gonna do this then? It's actually a meme. Ah, oh, okay. No, your meme suggests it started from from a virgin versus Chad meme. That sounds about right, actually. That that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I could see that to be honest. I need to do claws. Yeah, that that makes a lot more sense actually. If this started from like a Chad versus virgin meme, let's do that. Make that smaller. Make that done and meshed. Do that, we'll make the... One sec, do that. Just make that come out a little bit. And then curve it. Like I said earlier, this is going to be one of the claws. And I quite, I quite like it being a bit, uh, n a bit blunt, so I'm just going to keep it to like that kind of uh, curvature. Oh, dear oh dear. That, uh, what Somi drew <laughs> really got me. I do need to hydrate, thank you very much. They made a totally accurate battle simulator. Oh, that's what TABS is! Thank you, I, I knew I recognised um, the acronym, I just could not remember where from. That's it, totally accurate battle simulator. Hello, Clarice. Welcome. You always watch the watch the stream, then you watch the video after. I'm glad you enjoy it that much too. Uh, wait, I'm glad you enjoy it that much too. Watch it twice. Uh, yes, exactly. You did actually. You that, that one I do remember. You did gift me um, tabs as well. I remember you gave it to me when I had no idea what it was, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but that is indeed another one. Hello, Trolls. Good to see you for a bit, mate. Yes, Isaki. You've probably seen it, but I'm going to say it anyway. I have finally written a list of all the games that I need to play, and I am scared of my list. I'm very, very scared. It's a lot. <laughs> I do feel really bad, though, that I've not played a lot of them already. 
Like, considering how you gave me, like, for example, Risk of Rain and Don't Starve, you gave them to me, like, what? At least a year ago, probably more than that. I do feel quite bad for not being able to have already got gotten to it. Okay, gnarly. Um, I've watched your videos for literally years. I loved to spoil when I was younger and it was one of my favourite games and you were always a cool content creator. Thank you so much. Oh, Gnarly, thank you. And mate, I'm really glad that you that you were able to enjoy it. It's wonderful to get to meet you. Did I write down any Pokemon games? No, I'm honestly not interested in playing Pokemon. I really, really like Pokemon like as a as a uh, art theme. An art style. That sounds kinda weird to say. I love their designs, but I'm not interested in the games. I gave both of them when I was considered new. On February, I will have been in this community for two years. Oh wow, how time flies. Damn, Asaki, that's that's actually really awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? So I, obviously, you know, you've been here, been around for a long time now, and it feels like it. It's just amazing to see that it's already been two years. That's really cool. And yeah. Two years I've been holding to those games, I really gotta play them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what am I making? Samita, welcome! I'm making a commission, which is of a feathered Godzilla. Welcome, mate. I got Ark before Christmas when it was on sale, and I really like it, but I don't know how to play it. To be fair, I think a lot of people feel that way, Wave Speed. A lot of people do kind of uh, struggle with Ark, because it's really not new player friendly. It's really bad for new players. I'm saying that, if you ever like, uh, if you ever, if you ever have any questions about Ark, or you know, just want to like have a bit of a guiding hand, a lot of us on Discord are always happy to help, give suggestions, give advice. Welcome back, Storm. Uh, let me see. Angle that to be about there. Flappy Godzilla, exactly. You've been busy faffing around in modern Skyrim, Minecraft, and now tabs. <laughs> I remember something to you when I was 12, I think, and now you're 15. You've been a fan for you for ages. And you're 12. That's awesome, Dragon Veil. And welcome. It's it's always really cool and really surreal whenever I hear people like how long they've been subbed for. It's really cool. I don't know what it is, man. It still just blows my mind now that I've been able to do this for so long. Like, it's... I, I don't know how to describe it, to be honest. It's really cool and really strange that I've been able to, like, just be here doing this for such a long time. And that for a lot of people, it, like, for a lot of people, that means entire childhoods. And... Yeah, like I said, it's just such a cool feeling. What app would you recommend for sculpting for free? Claris. Blender. Blender by far. I would definitely recommend Blender for sculpting for free. Uh, now, saying that, so Blender is hard to learn. ZBrush, what I'm currently using now, ZBrush does have a free version. In fact, let me show you something. Um, let me just give, give me one moment. Dark Edge TV, uh, what's it? ZBrush free. For any of you guys who want to like get into very simple 3D, like I mean really, really simple 3D. I'd actually recommend this video that I did. Hold on, there it is, the second one. I'd recommend that because I do go through like a little bit of a, a bit of a tutorial, if you will, just how to draw in 3D for the first time. And I think it would help. It's really simple, it's really, really simple. And Wicta, thank you. What do you think about Sea of Thieves? I want to play Sea of Thieves. I really, really want to play it. I just need to get round to it. <laughs> it's slowly closer to us four, ye four years. Really, Trollsium. Oh no, Miha. <laughs> four years. Wow, we're actually reached that point for a lot of people now, aren't we? Fexy. And no worries, Clarus. <laughs> Livy begs. You know what? Um, I use dark mode for everything. It's just that uh, YouTube is probably one of the oldest websites I've been using, so it's always been light mode and I've never had to change it because I'm just used to YouTube light mode. Even though I prefer dark mode and everything else, it's, it makes no sense. It's really, really weird. I don't, I don't know why I do it. 
Lola! Y'all are making me feel old? <laughs> Rag, how do you think I feel? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. And Orphan, welcome, mate! Uh, what have you missed? You have missed, uh, basically just this, to be honest. Just been chatting, working on this. And in terms of time left, we've got about two hours left. And PewDiePie, I think we give this up to Trollsium. And Storm. Oh dear. Storm, what have you done? <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> and hydrate, I shall. Thanks, I, I, I will enjoy it. Not long after you joined, you turned 18 and now you're 21. That's weird, my Orf. You're not allowed to be older than 18. Well, obviously you are. But um, I, I remember you when you were younger than 18. And it's weird. God, you aged. How dare you age? Will you continue playing hardcore Minecraft? Oh, yes. I feel really bad I've not been playing it, but I do really, really want to play it more. Yes, I absolutely will play more Hardcore Minecraft. In fact, hmm, I gotta think about that actually. In terms, of, I, I want to play more Minecraft, I should say. And to think about uh, what I'm gonna do in regards to Hardcore. But I will play more Minecraft. Stop growing up. I know, right? God, Mine Wolf. Imagine being an adult now. Jesus. Imagine being me. <laughs> um, someone said about this updated picture. You die when you go to the afterlife. It, this is the face I greet you. <laughs> I think you've got to try playing Risk of Rain 2. I'd suggest waiting until March. Early April. Oh, Ale. Noted. Okay, good. Thank you for telling me. Davo Cell Stage mod. Uh, Jillian, you should just be able to, if I remember correctly, either use the easy installer, which you generally should use for all mods, or just um, just drag it in. It should be like a really simple one, just to drag into the uh, folder. Most like ninety nine percent of all spawn mods require the same methods of of installation. Give me a second. I am having a brain fart. I need to flip that because I'm struggling to flip it in my mind. There we go. Yeah, like I said, uh, the majority of all spawn mods are all installed the same way. Let's just move that. Hmm, this isn't going to work, is it? Now that I think about it. This might be a little bit strange looking. And let's also rotate that around. In fact, it's rotated by that pivot over there. And I want to rotate the toes as well. Give me one second, guys. I'm just focusing. There we go. Right, so that is one foot. So it's just a bit better positioned. That feels really odd. I think I'll be fine, though. Right, so now I just want to mask that one. Mask that. Mask that side there, and then I want to mask that side there. Did I get everything? I did not. Let's try that again. There we go. And I'll do the same on the other side. <gasps> Hello, Funky. Welcome. I wish you joined your channel at 14, and now you're 21. Oh, wow. That's, in that's crazy, man. I think I've been watching your channel for about four or five years, which means I started when I was 17, 18, and now you're 22. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. And Julian, you're welcome. Sorry, I couldn't have been more help in regards to how to mo um, how to install it. Honestly, I'm just not very good at asking for help with Spore, but I do hope though that it helps in some way. I really do. Does it brush work in layers? Kind of, kind of. 
Uh, so it doesn't work in layers like you'd see in Photoshop or anything like that. But uh, it does work that you can have different objects everywhere. I guess you can compare it to like different bits of paper where in Photoshop every layer is a bit of paper. But then in ZBrush every layer is an object. Which I can split and merge as much as I want. So kind of yes and kind of no. Who did the original drawing? Little Theropod. It's her drawing and her character. You joined when you were 13 and you're now 19 and still watching. That's so cool. Ah, oh, it's really cool and really weird. Like... <laughs> it'll never it will never stop being weird and I like it. I like how it always feels so special to me. The fact that uh, like people have literally had their childhoods here. I mean, damn. I was 15 when I started my channel. Now I'm 26. No. I'd been 14 when I started. 14 or 15? I was young. <laughs> I just TLDR it that way. I was young when I started. <laughs> now I'm old. Getting old, my bones hurt. Getting cranky. Mm, boomer. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I think I was 16 when I first watched. Damn. Yeah, the years fly, don't they? It's been nearly three years since I joined Discord. Damn. Oh, that's very wrong. Right, what I'm going to do here then, because I've got the floor a little bit dodgy there. I'm actually going to go ahead and make a great big... Oh, not that. going to make a great big floor like this. Now, if I know, I've already got like a floor here, like a little green grid. Sometimes it's hard to, to actually see where everything's leveled, so sometimes I'll do this instead. That way I can see just exactly how off features are. Like that, for example, now I know the back foot is uh, floating. So if I do that... And then you think, actually, how am I going to do this? I could just probably make that aim down a bit, like that. So that I can then move the toes downwards. Oh, whoops. Let me just remove that. There we go. And move that downwards. And rotate it in the process. I think I'd even have this slightly pointed inwards. So that I can then have this one over here. Oh, wait. I think it'd be quite interesting if this foot back here was pointed outwards. Just that way it's just like a bit of a variation in the footsteps. Kind of like this. There we go. I think that just looks a little bit more interesting, doesn't it? It looks a little bit lopsided, but I can fix the lopsidedness by just having the tail flex a certain way. I'm going to make a new save, actually, just called... Um, posed. I think I was 10 or 11 when I first started watching. Damn, it's been a while. Is that the new Bowser? <laughs> Hello, Red. Welcome, mate. What's a Twitch raid? I was in one. I was in one, but I didn't understand it because it was a true, true devil level chaos. Um, A Twitch raid is basically, how do I say it? A Twitch raid is when a streamer gets their entire chat to raid another streamer. So, in essence, if I was to get all of you guys to raid another channel, it's like a positive thing. It means like, hey guys, go watch this person instead. We'll come at the same time and just like surprise the person. It's like a surprise party. That's raiding in Twitch. Yeah, like, surprise! Have, have X amount of viewers <laughs> out of nowhere. Have you thought about setting rigs for your characters for use in animation or things like Source Filmmaker? Yes, absolutely. Uh, not necessarily in Source Filmmaker, but I do want to rig my things. It's... There's, there's things I've got to do before I can, but I do want to do it. I intend on learning how. You were 10 when you started watching, now you're 16. And Pukupa, I saw you've been watching for 7 years. I want the people who had DT as their childhood. I remember being like 10 or 13 thinking that... DET people were so amazing and cool and scary and mature and edgy. <laughs> oh, bless. Yeah, um... 
Oh, Ruth, uh, this sculpture is a, it's a commission. This is someone's character, which is a fluffy Godzilla. Welcome. Ah, uh, yeah, as I was going to say, though, I feel like I should say that the reason why my channel is called Dark Edge TV is it, when I made the channel, Dark and Edgy weren't terms. That, that They were not things people said. <laughs> so back then, it just sounded like, it just sounded original. But now it sounds really cringe and edgy. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be. <laughs> Hello, Cosmic Latte. Oh, uh, Cosmic. Pronouns, I guess, is she. O honestly, I don't really care. Just call me whatever you're comfortable with. She is technically correct. And in terms of my favourite type of creature to 3D model, that's. Oh, that's a good question, actually. I've not thought about that. Favourite type of creature to model? What is my favourite creature to model? I guess maybe a dragon? Huh. R reptiles. Yeah, that, that makes, that, that'd be it. Reptiles. Just like all reptiles in general. So, dragons, lizards, crocodiles, snakes, etc. Welcome. You even had metal music back then. Oh, true. Okay, maybe it was edgy. <laughs> Maybe my channel was edgy back then as well. I did like metal. I didn't think metal music was edgy. I just really liked it at the time. I, I went. I went through a phase. It was just a phase, mum. God. Oh dear. It's funny looking back. I do get a good laugh looking back on uh, my childhood. Is the delay longer on YouTube than it is on Twitch? It shouldn't be. There, there might be a delay, but there shouldn't be. I hope not. If it is, it's outside of my control. Oh, uh, before I do that, actually, the next thing I want to start doing is now posing the body. So I've got the legs where I want them to be. I now want to start posing the rest of the body so it looks a bit more slanted. How am I going to do this? Let me think for a sec. I know. Right, I've got an idea. Let's just unmask all of the head features. We'll mask out all the arms. Alright, cool. So. Good. I've got the entire body. I want to mask out the claws. There we go. So I've got the entire body in use. No, I don't. Now I do. Good. Right. How am I going to do this then? From around over here, I want the entire thing to be bent downwards. And then around here, I want to move the chest upwards like this, so it's curving. Kind of like that. That might not be what I want, actually. No, I don't think that's it, actually. Uh, so what I want is something like this. Where it's just like bent forward and roaring or hissing. Maybe I should leave it, yeah, I think I should leave the entire chest... Maybe even exaggerate like this, now that I think about it. So I have to move the arms down as well then, I'll do that in a moment. And then I want to move the neck upwards. Oh, whoops. There we go. Do that, do that. Uh, sorry, I'm neglecting you guys for a moment, bear with me. Gotta focus. I quite like that. I, I do look that uh, look like that. Excuse me. I do like a little bit further upwards, like that. And then if I move the entire head as well, so that's also pointing upwards, like this maybe. And then have the jaw much more open, like that. I like that. That works. That's, that's a lot better, actually. I really like that. Uh, that's what I was thinking. I may swap to Twitch. I have a Twitch Prime sub floating too. Ah, a Snake Queen. Welcome. That is one chunky Godzilla. It's, it's a big fluffy boy. <laughs> it's a big fluffy boy. It's only a phase. If you leave that phase at some point, that's very true, actually. That's a very good point. Metal's the most appropriate music for crafting giant breath skylets. <laughs> Fire breathing skylets. Agreed, actually. 
My favorite thing to sculpt is Bulbasaur and Spore. True. <laughs> True. My browser can't handle both Twitch and YouTube, apparently. Good lord. Oh no. Hydrate? I shall. Decay, thank you. Man, you guys are on point to the hydrating today. It's actually been really nice. There we go. Let's just quickly unmask all the arms. There we go. And I just want to move the arms downwards. Like that. Something to about like here, maybe. Cool, I, re I really like where this, is uh, where this is heading. What I will do then is next up is just, again, mask out half of it. Like so, so I can move only the left arm. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Let's try that again. And the claws, I only want the left hand. I'm going to mask that out like that and invert so I can move the left hand claws only. Because I've accidentally put the um, hand claws and the leg claws as the same layer. So it keeps on... Do it from there. It keeps on uh, affecting both of them. Let's just move that to around here and then rotate. Oh, that went wrong. Wait, lack of symmetry. There we go. <laughs> so something like that. And I think a lot of people might appreciate this. One final thing I do also want to do just with the left hand is I would like to just have it point slightly inwards. Oh, but I merged it with the, with the arm, didn't I? So instead, what I'm going to do is select this wrist and then just crop it halfway. And of course, this one over here. I'll blur that, then what we'll do is I can turn it and it'll actually look like a bit of a natural bend instead of like um, anything weird. There we go. Give me one second, I will look at the chat again. <laughs> Every now and then I get carried away, I apologise. <laughs> there we go, like that, so it's pointed more inwards. Cool, I'm really liking that. Right, what have I missed? Ah, Storm! The pose right now reminds me of that one monster from Monster Hunter, the T-Rex looking thing with a spiky lower jaw. Oh, the spiky lower jaw, Devil Joe. It does look like Devil Joe, you're right. It really does. Well, a bit, anyway. It's got like a really tiny face. It kind of doesn't like Devil Joe. Can you tell me the name of the sculptor? Uh, Ruth. Um, wait, of the sculptor? I'm not sure what you mean. I am the sculptor, so Dark Edge TV, or Rebecca. Um, the model is based on Floofzilla, which belongs to Little Therapod. Little Therapod is a person who's purchased this commission. And the software I'm using is called ZBrush. Do you only do creatures and monsters, or can you do human characters? I, I can try to do characters. I don't have much, much experience doing humanoids, but I'm always happy to try. Well... What's, I've, I've done a couple of humans actually. Give me a second. I have done some humans, like um, Lilith from Diablo three, Diablo four. Excuse me. I've done that. I made the Joker. Otherwise, I think the most humanoid thing I've done is probably Zoltan, which is a commission for Sommy. I think that's the most humanoid thing I've done yet. I would like to do more though. I could try Lewis. That'd be really cool, Funky. Lewis has got like a very interesting style. That'd be really fun. Empiric? Oh yeah, yeah, of course, actually the Empiric. I've done Empiric, which is another humanoid. Where's Empiric? There it is. Peace. And I guess now that you mention it, uh, we've gotta we gotta include King Crimson. <laughs> We can't not include King Crimson, can we? I think... Oh, and this one. This is another one for Somi. So that's uh, Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. I'm really proud of that one. Like, for a rough portrait, I thought I did fantastic. 
Funky! No, wait, that's not for you, is it? Is that for Funky? No, that's for McKinley. Never mind, I thought that was you. <laughs> no fo- no- wow, that name, that's a great name. No Fox <laughs> were given. Thank you very, very much, Lord Twitch Prime Sub, and welcome. Welcome, Livy. <laughs> welcome, Livy. Marina, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. And Victor Mines, thank you very, very much. I have the lower claw resting on the top of a uh, kind of rock or large, or hold on, top of skull or large rock. Ooh. A skull or large rock. That's a great idea, bit of knowledge, but because this isn't mine, I'm not going to do that. But I need to keep that in mind, though. I do need to do more environmental stuff. That's a fantastic idea. I only won't here because this is for someone else. It's not mine. So I don't like um, adding on their behalf, if that makes sense. And by a court, I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Take care of yourself. Oh wait, that is funky. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, no wonder I thought it belonged to funky because it did belong to funky. All right then. <laughs> My bad. Uh, Storm, hold on, Storm. Uh, Storm. Oh, what kind of commission? Uh, Storm, right, so, while I'm working on this, regarding Patreon and commissions, I basically, um, if you're a patron for like an X amount of time, then you get a discount. But it's after like five months, that way, you know, that way there's no like dodgy stuff going on because I could get scammed if it was like the first month. Not saying you would, like, it's a general thing. But uh, yeah, no, like after a couple of months of uh, being a Patreon, you can get a commission, uh, a discount on all of my commissions. So you pay less. Uh, that is my last bit of water. But like, if you want a commission in general, I'm, may, I'm, I'm always happy. I, I love doing commissions. I have a lot of fun doing these. Gives me a great opportunity to try making things I'd never normally make. Like this, you know? I'd never really think to have made this. And it's awesome, I'm glad I get to try. I'm just gonna throw that arm back a little bit like this. I kinda want to bend outward slightly like that, and then I want to grab this arm. And just, oh, whoops, that's wrong. On the elbow. Let's see you later, Adrian. I've been trying to make characters and creatures for my comics. I thought you could suggest me a mythical creature that you like. Oh, wave speed. So you've been making cats and creatures for your comics. A mythical creature. I'd say a griffin, actually. I think griffins are really, really cool. Rather underrated, I feel, sometimes. But if not a griffin, if not a griffin, what else? What would be another good creature to suggest? Um... I'm thinking. It's kind of hard, actually, isn't it, to uh, think about... Oh, a harpy. A harpy is a lot more humanoid-ish, so you could make that as a character. A uh, harpy, for those who don't know, are the basically like... If you combined a human and a eagle. Chimera. Oh, Chimera's another good one, yeah. Chimeras have a very loose description, so you can have it look as however you want. A more obscure mythical creature. Well, what would be like a more obscure one? I feel like all the Japanese yokai, I think they're pronounced. Sphinx, hippogriff, griffin, harpy, yeah, indeed. I think uh, like Japanese yokai, like I'm not familiar with it myself. I know like it's a thing. Mongolian deathworm isn't, I, I recognize that, Sorry. Brazilian folklore creatures. Ooh, Lindworm, Minotaur, Sphinx. How would you feel if I eventually commissioned you to do a realistic sculpture of your bird? Oh, mate, Polar, challenge accepted. I would love that. A Hydra, a Titan, even a Siren. Quetzalcoatl, Cockatrice. Man, you guys have got so many cool ideas. <laughs> there, there you go, then. Who was it asked again? Wave speed. I hope you have plenty of material. 
That's a lot of really good ideas all around. The Bowie Tutter, the fire serpent protector of the forest of the forest against grasses. That sounds really cool. Mythology mythology mythology. Wow. Mythology is cool, I agree. A when to go. That's another good one. Right, I really like this overall posing. Uh, would you do any commission type hold on, would you do any surprise me commission type stuff? No. No, would I it surprised me commission. That's a cool idea. That's actually a very cool idea, but I don't think I will though. I've never even heard of surprise me commission, so that's really cool. But I think it would be risky. So I wouldn't like to do one, but I'm happy to know that that exists. That does sound really fun. Fenrir is another really good one. Let's see. Now that I'm pretty much happy with the overall sculpt or the overall uh, posing, let me just get the tail in place now. So how do I want the tail? I, I, to be fair, I really like the way the tail's positioned. I know that it's such a big, heavy creature that so its tail shouldn't be in the air like that, but I honestly prefer it. Or, alternatively, how would I do it instead if it wasn't floating? I guess like that, but that doesn't look as interesting though. Like, I don't really want to take gravity into account here because I feel like that looks a little bit boring. I'd rather it be like that in the air. I think it looks more dramatic that way. Open up any D&D &D monster book. Oh, true. And water. I gotta get some more water actually. In fact, right, you know what I do need to do more of? I need to start taking breaks more often. I do actually need to get into the habit of taking breaks. I'm gonna take one now. Only five minutes, don't you worry. I'll put up a timer. I'll get get a drink then. <laughs> because yesterday, like I, I had so much fun yesterday, I did not take a single break and I felt so exhausted by the end of the stream. I'm still tired now. <laughs> but I enjoy it here. I really like I really like chatting. Anyway, break time. I'll be back in five minutes.
Why, hello. Mate, I gotta take breaks more often. It's good, it's healthy. <laughs> get up, have a stretch, get a cup of tea. There we go. Got a brand new fresh cup of tea and some more water. Always lovely. I have a crocodile head in your room and when I rolled off your bed, you stabbed your toe in its tooth. Ouch! That sounds awful. And thank you, Bean of Knowledge and Clarus. Thank you very much. I must relax. I do. I, I must. I shall. I am. What? Anyway. <laughs> right. Back to this. Ah, yeah. That's uh, like I was saying. That's something I need to do more often to take a break. It's just something good, isn't it? Just about getting up and having a stretch. It just kind of like resets you mentally. <sighs> what is with me, man? I've been really all about the healthiness lately. <laughs> it's really unusual for me. <laughs> I mean, it's good habits, but I've been like really all about the healthiness lately. What's your favorite kind of tea? My favorite kind of tea is PG Tips, which is a black tea, I think. <gasps> Birkin, love to see you, mate. Welcome. And your commotion, welcome back. No, welcome. Wel welcome. Welcome. What? <laughs> you need a drink? I'll right, make it to tea in a moment then. Uh, right, so I'm at the point now with this where I can start doing the fur. No, I'm doing a tail. That's what I was doing just before I left is a tail. So for the tail, I do want it to be just a little bit... Oh, not like that. In fact, if I look at it from the front, it looks a bit left biased. I just want the tail just to be slightly to the right, like this. There we go, just so it's not completely flat. Hello, say my nickname. Uh, no. <laughs> I like, I, I talk to people. If, if we just talk in a conversation, I'll say your name, but I'm not gonna just like shout people out because you ask for it. We'll just chat, man. Just have a good old chat. You may know, surprise me. You may know, surprise me more by artist's choice. Hold on. By artist choice. I've got like any examples. I'm kind of interested in this whole surprise me thing. Big fan of Earl Grey. You're basic? No, no, I don't think that's basic at all, actually. Um, I've always I grew up thinking Earl Grey was very posh. I I need to try Earl Grey again. When I had Earl Grey once before, it tasted like perfume. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. I think I may have just been given a really, really bad cup of tea. Because I've always heard people really like Earl Grey, and I couldn't stand it. Like, it actually tastes like I was drinking perfume. It was... yeah. But uh, it was with my dad's wife at the time, so I had to be polite to keep on drinking it, and it, it was just horrible. <laughs> it was really, really not nice. You're American, so it's strange to be described as posh. Oh wait, is that a common to drink in America? Oh, I actually didn't know that. Like Twinings. Oh, how I see? If it tastes like that, it means it was, a, it was rotten tea. Really? With a bit of good of honey? Really? Right. I definitely must have just had a bad one then. Because it was really bad. It genuinely tasted like perfume. It was horrible. Yeah. I've never had another one since. You know the kind of one I had? Is is the one I had the posh one then? Because it, it was it was just bad. <laughs> I've said it enough. <laughs> Do you like sport for the Nintendo DS? I've never tried it. I've never played sport on the DS or the Wii. How do you know what perfume tastes like? Oh, right, okay. It's <laughs> it tasted like what I would imagine perfume to taste like based on the smell. You know like how sometimes you can like Assume a taste based on the smell of something. It was like that. It, it was it was horrible. It was a uh, it was a zero out of ten. I would never recommend to anyone. Did that work? No. There we go. Now it worked. Yes. Zero out of ten. Would not recommend. Would not try again. How is a free sport creature compared to the full version? Uh, kind of awful. The free small uh, the free small creator the editor itself is the exact same. It just has next to no parts available. It's like really really limited, and it gives you a very tiny library. 
if you ever want to get into creating in Spore, just get the full game. Because the Spore creature creator, like the full version of the creature creator, is the exact same as a creature creator in the full version of Spore. But in the full version of Spore, you also get the outfitters, and you also get like buildings and vehicles and spaceships. So you just get more out of it. Uh, the full version of Spore is very cheap during sales, so like Steam sale, Origin sale. It drops in price a lot. How exactly do you send commissions? Uh, do you mean as in, like, how do you ask to buy one, or how do I send it to the person? Let me just make that all nice and big. Hello, Godzilla, welcome back. Uh, you missed a break. <laughs> so you've not missed anything, don't worry. Uh, you're telling me never walked- are you telling me never walked into some room one just tastes just lasted perfume in? Oh, oh yes, yes, games, um, games. Birkin, yes, exactly. That's a very, very good description of like the taste of perfumes when you walk into a room and it just hits you really hard. Never mind. Oh, oh okay, Atom. Well, I'll, I'll answer the question anyway for anyone else who might be curious uh, in regards to commissions. If you want to get one from me, it's just a case of contacting me. Uh, email or Discord is the easiest way, and I'll give you a link to where both of them you can find them. So all the information is like here. In terms of how you get it from me, I just email it or send it on Discord to you. I communicate a lot during commissions. I like to do what the buyer wants. And I try to send like, you know, in the easiest way for them. Fingers crossed. What am I making? Uh, Gigo, welcome. Making a commission for a little theropod of their fluffy Godzilla. And Godzilla, fair, fair enough. Jackie, hello, Jackie. What you had was a rotten tea. Like, really, in most old grays, really good. Uh, mainly bland, but not bad. You like a Tim Hortons old gray. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Noted, noted. You know what? Now that you mention it, it probably didn't have sugar because, like I said, it was from my dad's wife and she was a health nut. Like, she was all about being healthy and healthy, healthy, healthy and blah, 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 you know? Like, one of those freaky ones. So it probably had... It did taste, like, really grossly bland. It probably, um... was... gross. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Hello, Draki. How are you doing? Jackson, good to see you. And Funky. Uh, my commissions are always open. I very, very rarely close them. And Fox, thank you. I think you should ask for more. I, well... I probably should, actually. I probably should ask for more. <laughs> but uh, I, the prices I have right now are set that way because I'm, I'm not a professional. I'm, like, just a hobbyist. If I was, like, a professional, like, you know, freelancing 3D expert, then I'd obviously, you know, par uh, parge? charge that amount but because i'm just a hobbyist right now i think my prices are okay i think i hope i think everyone here like every artist here knows exactly the plight of figuring out your price it's one of the hardest things honestly Let's unmask that, unmask that. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm doing right now, by the way, is I'm getting ready to move the entire head. So now that I've made the tail a little bit more asymmetrical, I don't like the head being completely straight, so I'm just making this ever so slightly ooh, curved, like this. I just want to rotate it just a little bit so it looks a bit more interesting. No, I can't do that yet. That's a bad idea. I should not do that yet. I want to merge the entire head together before I do that. You think it depends on supply and demand? Absolutely, yes. On yesterday's stream, I said this was going to work, but I forgot you have to be 13 to use it. Ah, Margie, yep, yeah, that would do it. Oh, oh, Victor, I need to update that. Thank you very much. It is 2021, isn't it? <laughs> let me update that. Thank you. Ah, uh, let me see. 2021. Thank you. There we go. Back to this. Even Twitch emotes can cost more. That's a really good way of comparing, it, actually. Fox, that's a very... What, what was your name on YouTube again? I know you told me. I think it was Lily. 
Sorry. But that's an extremely good comparison. Your dad reminds me of Socks because of your story. Draki, it was the same thing. The same person. Oh my god, guys. So Draki just reminded me, right? Draki just reminded me that, uh, so as I was just saying, you know, the woman who, um, the woman who, like, gave me this really terrible Earl Grey, she's the same person, right, who one day, uh, when my sister and I had dad had dinner at my dad's, they gave us couscous. Now, I still to this day don't know what couscous actually is. It's like some weird pasta, ricey thing, I don't know. But the couscous she gave us was so goddamn awful. But we couldn't be honest about it though, because they were watching us eat it. Like, they were physically sitting there watching us eat it, like, as if we were like five years old or something. We're like, well, how old were we? We were like 17 and 19 at the time. And we were expected to finish this disgusting couscous. And eventually they gave up and just left the room because we took so long to have it. And my sister, no joke, took a sock off my foot and shoved all of her couscous into the sock. So, but but she took both of my socks, so I couldn't do it myself. I had to like actually finish the couscous. It was just so so rancid and gross, and I had no socks afterwards. God damn it! It was such a ridiculous thing. Yeah, bruh, indeed. It's made up of co is it corn? It did not taste like corn. It was horrid. It was so bad. Bloody corn. Do I like sport? Yes, yes I do. Um, are you gonna stream World of Warcraft? I'm debating on it. I'm debating on streaming WoW. I will stream more games in general, for sure. I'm not sure about WoW. You should have shoved the couscous onto our plate. I, that would have been a great idea. I was very scared of my sister back then. I was a very different person when I was young girls. I was very scared and anxious and I didn't think to, to myself to give her the couscous back. <laughs> that would have been a great idea, Draki. Just like throw it on her plate instead. What happened to the socks afterwards? I, I can't remember. I think she like hid it in a handbag or something. And then when we got back to home, when, you know, went back to our mums, we then just, um, I think she just like, Threw the couscous and uh, threw the sock in the wash or something or in the bin. I don't really remember. <laughs> I remember it being really funny in hindsight, but at the time it was just really annoying and embarrassing. Oh dear. So yes, guys, when you're older, when you have your own kids. Don't force them to eat stuff they don't like. I mean, obviously, you know, kids gotta eat, you know, do make your kids, like, you know, finish your meals. Ob absolutely, don't encourage them to be fussy, but if they genuinely hate it, don't force them. <laughs> I'm making a spike spot, the way is what I'm currently doing. Oh, God. Uh, welcome back, Michal. Seeing as my wife is a professional watercolour artist, I think I can confirm that $20 to $35 isn't a bad rate. Also, sock <laughs> Hello, Thor. Welcome back. Well, apparently it can taste good. Apparently, like, you know, with like most things in life, you just cook it the right way. It tastes great. It's just... She didn't. <laughs> she just... I mean, like, like I said, the same woman who gave me that perfume-tasting uh, Earl Grey. Yeah. It's actually sort of a steamed squash wheat. Oh. A thoughts on the Blender program? Blender is fantastic. Blender is absolutely fantastic. Uh, now, I'm incompetent. I don't know how to use it. But even for someone like me who doesn't know how to use it, I can still tell you that it's really worth learning. It's a fantastic jack of all trades 3D modeling program. So you can do all sorts of things like rendering, like animating, like rigging. You can even make little video games in Blender if you wanted to. It's hard to learn, but you'll get a lot out of it. A uh, ZBrush, which I'm currently using now, is it excels at sculpting, but it can't do the other things. Like it can't do rigging, for example. So what a lot of people do do is combine 3D software. So a lot of Blender users also use ZBrush or Maya or other things as well. It's very common to use like multiple bits of software in 3D. Am I gonna stream 
you drawing Bulbasaur and Spore? No. No, I will not stream that. I might stream more Pokemon though. More making Pokemon and Spore. I've actually learned that a lot of people taste food differently. My boyfriend, for example, says that broccoli tastes awful to him. Like it's covered in battery acid. Oh wow, that's... I know that everyone, you know, experiences food differently, but that as a taste is actually quite interesting. By the way, so if you're wondering why this is like, this spike is like as weird as it is shaped, it's because it doesn't really matter. So for those of you who did not see yesterday's stream, everything you see here will end up being a lot more simplified when it's finished. And that means that I can be a bit cheeky every now and then and do things like a bit more um, basic, like the shape here. You'll see towards the end that when it's finished, everything will look quite different and a lot better. They'll look more polished when it's finished. But for now, it's intentionally very rush. Uh, rush? Rough, excuse me. Let's see. And it also means I can recycle a little bit, like here. As I get to the smaller spikes, I can just um, embed them, like this. You love broccoli, even when it's covered in cheese? You just gave me another memory. Oh no, another flashback. So, this time, not the same woman, but still in my dad's side of the family. Uh, so I like Brussels sprouts, right? I really, really like vegetables. A lot. Especially as a kid. And Brussels sprouts were no different. I really like them as well. Now, like I said, this time it's my dad's mother, not his wife. Uh, she made these absolutely... She prepared these absolutely giant Brussels sprouts, like size of ten of spools, right? They were absolutely huge. And she smothered them in butter. Now, I know that sometimes, like if you smother toast in butter, it tastes really lovely. But Brussels sprouts in that volume of butter and the size of ten spools, it, it it made me gag. And like I said, I'm the one who loves vegetables. I couldn't handle it. I swear, man. <laughs> why why can my dad's family just cook normal food? <laughs> right, let me just quickly uh, do this. You love butter, but that makes me gag. Yeah, it was... I can't believe how much you added on. It was unbearable. Like, a bit of butter and vegetables can be lovely. It can, like, really, really add to the taste. But like I said, it, it was just so much. It was drenched and liquidy and... Yeah. Nope. Pineapple and pizza? I- Right, I actually like pineapple and pizza. Right. Before people yell at me. <laughs> so, a pineapple on pizza. I used to joke on it. I used to meme it. I also thought that sounded disgusting. I hated pineapple and, pe uh, pineapple and pizza without ever trying it. It, sound it sounds gross. And one day, Kev, my husband, he tells me to give it a go. Because, again, I'm a veggie eater. I like, I like my veg pizzas. And, uh, you know, like a bit of bacon on it. Like a bit, a bit of bacon's great. <laughs> and he insisted I try a pineapple one. So I thought, oh, okay, okay, all right, sure, sure. I'll give it a go. And you know what? I have never gone back since. I love pineapple and pizza. <laughs> I think if you're like a very heavy meat eater, I think it'll taste gross. Like, I never have it, like, on a, on a meaty pizza, but on a, um, on, like, a typical veggie pizza, it's actually really nice. Like, it's, like, a, a bit of a sweet, uh, side taste. Uh, <laughs> Godzilla. I would unsub you if I was subscribe if I was subscribed for Pineapple Abomination. Hey, it's actually quite nice. It surprised me. I was absolutely on team Never Ever Have Pineapple. I was absolutely on that team until I tried it and it was actually really nice. Right, let me just grab that. Grab that. I'm going to start using this again. Have you ever thought about doing animation? Yes, I've thought about it. Uh, I actually used to do a lot of 2D animation when I was younger. 3D animation though, there's a lot more to it and I can't do it yet, but I would like to. I would like to get into 3D animation when I make the more appropriate models for it. The reason, like what I mean by that, for those who don't know. So when it comes to 3D animation, you need your models to be created in a certain way. Let's look at it this way, right? The polygons. You see how the wireframe on the polygons are really dense, a lot of them. There is currently 685,000 polygons in the spikes alone. 
So let's say like a million. That's too much. There's, there's too many polygons to animate, to rig, to put in a game or a movie. And that's what I mean by I make my models wrong, because I do them very, very high poly. They're great to look at, but they're very bad to rig and animate. And because this is the way I learned to do 3D sculpts, I don't really know how to do low, lower resolution stuff yet. But as soon as I do, then I can move on to animating. It's a process. It's interesting. It's actually really technical and I really like it. I never tried pineapple, pineapple and pizza. I never tried it as well. Uh, that amount of butter and Brussels sprouts had me gag. I'm sorry for making you gag. You had fries that were dripping with grease. Oh no, that's awful. Yeah, awful. And I'm sorry if I made you guys gag. I really am. And dark colors. Yeah, that's correct. That's something I need to learn about. Uh, it's probably not hard to learn. I've seen a lot of people do it with uh, retopology, like where they manually redo all of the polygons themselves, and that's what I've been learning. I'm actually learning that already, you know, in my own time. I don't do it on stream because it's really boring and complicated. But there is like remeshing, there is uh, retopology, it's like a lot of uh, different technical things. Looking forward to when you, do, when you can do retopology, I think we all are. I, I appreciate that, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I think... Now, you know, I, I, I don't mean to uh, toot my own horn here, but I think that when I can start doing proper retopology is when I'll actually probably be able to get like, a position as like a uh, as a game modeler somewhere. Like, start doing like actual freelancing work. Because as it stands right now, all I can do is draw a pretty picture. That's all I can do, and that's okay. I like drawing pretty pictures. But I think for freelancing, I need to do a lot more than that. So mate, one day, one day, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, that did not do as what I wanted it to do. Uh, let me just quickly, give me a second. Let's just split that. We'll mirror, mirror and weld like that, perfect. And then we'll merge it back together again. So now we've got the three rows of spikes. There we go. Like it's it's actually really amazing. I have had every now and then I will get someone asking me like uh, an email or like an inquiry. Can I make video game characters? I have had a few offers and sadly I can't. <laughs> I don't know how yet. I need to learn. But it's, it's nice that I've already been having the interest. It means that as soon as I do learn, maybe I have a shot. Maybe, hopefully. True, Dark Colors, true. I love mayonnaise, mustard, pineapple and pizza. Very greasy food, very messy food. I, I think that's okay. Like, if you like that kind of stuff, it's fine with you. It's fine for you. You know what I mean. <laughs> as long as you know, you you do have some healthy things in between. What times do I stream? I stream... Well, now. <laughs> no. On average, I typically stream between 2 till 6 p.m. in GMT London time. And that's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, I'm not meant to stream today. Today's a bonus day. As I wanted to stream. <laughs> but basically, every weekday uh, in the London afternoon. Or British afternoon. You, you know what I mean. GMT. I do want to do more evening streams. As I know that for a lot of people, like the Americans and the Australians, when I stream isn't very good. I do want to do more evening streams when I can. It's just a bit tricky. Right, we'll do that there. And we'll do it again on the other side like that. Apparently you can't apparently you can't get rid of a ping when editing or applying a video. Oh, Jackson, no worries. No worries at all, mate. <laughs> How do you feel about the existence of bubblegum on pizza? Huh. Bubblegum on, bubble on pizza. No. Yeah, just just no. <laughs> I agree with that, Draki. Just no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's not my kind of thing, to be honest. 
That's chewy. You can't swallow pop. Why? Why would you have a thing you can't swallow with a thing you want to swallow? Yeah, how would it be edible? Don't swallow gum. It's bad for you. <laughs> That's awful. That is incredibly cursed. Oh dear. Thanks for streaming. You helped inspire me to get into the. Oh, hold on. Get into the info of your Explorer account. I'm, mate, I'm glad. You're very welcome. And I'm, mate, I'm glad you're able to get into your account. How often do you go about doing retopology for your models and such? Uh, right now, not at all. Because, like I said, I'm still learning it. Uh, so I don't do retopology at all yet. But when I do actually get around to learning it, I would like to it to be like a part of my regular. Um, what's the word? Regular workflow. Is it swallowing gum being bad a myth, technically? It, it might be a myth, actually. It, it might be a myth, but it's something I grew up with, therefore I will never change. <laughs> if I'm going to be entirely honest, I will never start swallowing gum because I always was told it was bad. It might be, though. That's such a good point. Right. Let's get rid of this piece over here. We don't need that anymore. Let's get rid of that. So we'll split and remove. Can I just say, it's really nice chatting with you guys. It is. There's something just like really, really nice and chill about just drawing and chatting. I like it. Retopo as hell. I'm doing it now for your final year thesis. Making a model of the Jersey Devil. It's a real pain in the butt. Use Retopo re Use free topo Flow for Blender. Oh, okay. I, I am aware it's hell. But I did not know about Retopo Flow. Actually, Rag has probably told me about that. Rag, I, I guarantee you've told me about that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, one second. But yes, thank you, Main, main Blag. Thank you very much. And Fox, I'm glad. Livy, that's it, Livy. You said earlier, thank you. <laughs> Livy, I'm glad. Oh, it's an add-on, but it's free off of GitHub. Ah, I see, I see. And Dark Colors that you did, yeah. And to be fair, I actually have... Um, my, my biggest issue, just so people are aware, uh, my biggest issue for why I don't already know these things is simply time. It's just time for me. Because I, basically, whenever I'm not streaming or if I'm not making videos, what I'm generally doing in my free time is either spending time with the husband, which I do a lot of and I'm very happy I can, or, normally I just do like all sorts of little things, like I'll do like commissions, or I'll um, I'll work on the subservers for ARC, or I'll edit. Editing never ends. Editing videos, <laughs> it never, ever, ever ends. <laughs> if I if I don't have anything to do at all, I will edit videos. <laughs> And that is the biggest uh, contribution to me not having enough time to do things. It's okay, I'm happy with it, I don't mind. But uh, it does mean that I've always got something to do, which means I rarely give myself the time to learn things. But I am I am changing that though, like I'm in the process of changing that, I'm trying to get into like better habits this year. And technically I already started last year, I've been doing better with my time since last year. In terms of like giving myself free time. It's weird, right? Because I, I really enjoy what I do. Like, I'm really happy with what I do nowadays, whether it's the admin stuff or the uh, streaming stuff or the editing, whatever. And so because I'm always working, I don't really give myself the opportunity to do things like learning new skills. And that's what I've been doing for the last couple of months is forcing myself to have the time to learn new skills. So I have been doing like a bit of retopology in my own time. I have been finally learning a bit more of Blender. I'm just not very good at it yet. With the Unreal Engine 5, it seems like it could be able to handle very high poly models. I did see about that. Yeah, the fact that, uh, like, wasn't it like in a PS5 conference as well? They're getting better at um, having high poly, like, millions of polygons worth of stuff. I did see about that. Though, I think it's still, it's valuable to learn more skills. Like, I don't want to be a one-trick pony in, in uh, like, for work. You know, I want to be able to learn different things and do different things. Hello, Draconitia. 
what I can tell, everything takes 10 cents longer in Maya. I'm glad I can't afford Maya. <laughs> So, because I can't afford it, I've never, ever bothered to look into Maya. I know it's a bit of a defeated approach, but I don't see the point in studying software I'll never have access to. It's like, I'm not a student. I cannot, you know, get a student license. I am not pirating it. Absolutely never. <laughs> so, otherwise, I'm just like, uh, huh, yeah, I just never use it. <laughs> I'm only using it because I'm a student. Ah, oh, yeah, you're lucky. It, it is, yeah, it is supposed to be industry standard. You are very correct about that. Like, may, um, Maya, if you can access it, it's good to be able to use. You, sh you do want to learn it. But because I can't access it, I'm happy with ZBrush and Blender. I'm, I'm very, very happy with ZBrush. Do you have any speed painting? What is your New Year's resolution? Speed painting? I've not done speed painting for a while, actually. I would like to do more. And my New Year's resolution... My newest resolution, actually, is to finally fulfill a whole bunch of promises I've made. I've got a lot of promises that I, I've been needing to do. For example, I've got uh, two mega builds of sport I've been meaning to do for people. Excuse me. I've got a couple of projects I've been meaning to do for you guys, such as the fast food adventure. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. Uh, what, are, what are some other promises I've been having to do? I can't remember the top of my head. There's a lot of things I've said I will do and I've not done yet. And I've been saying I'll do it for years and I've still not done it. So that's my resolution is just getting around to it. That was a bit of a boring one, but it's good. Uh, the, the Boy Slayer, welcome, mate. It is a fluffy Godzilla. Welcome. You know what? I am doing this wrong. I'm just going to redo the fur. I don't know why I tried doing it differently because that was failing. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take a claw. I'm just going to grab this claw right here. And this is now fur. Wait, let me... There you go. Th this, this little claw right here, this is now fur. <laughs> Let's just separate it and I'm going to start using that instead. It's just easy. Oh, hello, hello Storm. I lost your link to the Zebra Commissions and with Spore, if there was one mod that would crash your game, would it be? Oh, right. Welcome back, Storm. So first of all, welcome back. Second of all, here's the Commissions link. What mod would crash Spore? I guess technically Dark Injection, because with Dark Injection in Spore, since it has no complexity limit, it means that you can easily accidentally crash yourself by making too big of creations. I used to do that all the time by accident, I didn't know, for a long time. <laughs> I think we've all experienced that, haven't we? It seems like fur is hard to do in 3D. It's... I wouldn't say fur is hard. It's more about technique. And I try, I tried doing a different technique and it just wasn't working. So I'm going to go back to my usual technique. Which is individually placing like giant spikes, if you will. Yeah, it's, it's all about technique. Sometimes I overdo it. <laughs> It's still good that you remember your promises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, true. Like, the way I see it right is that I I rarely promise things because, for, for example, like, as a content creator, I don't want to promise, like, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that, because I might not always be able to. Which means that when I do make a promise, I have every intention of sticking to it, and it's meant that some things I have have been lingering for a little bit too long. Uh, PewDiePie can attest to this. I owe PewDiePie a mega build for like, what, three years now? And I think we can all agree, three years is a bit long, it's a bit silly. <laughs> so, that's my New Year's resolution, is to finally do it. <laughs> like, make myself do it. Instead of waiting, you know, like, for the next opportunity I quote-unquote can, I'll just do it instead. Which I think is a good habit in general. Technically, it's no promise. I promised! It is a promise. I the thing is though, Pika, I know that uh, I know you're not that fussed about it, but I did promise to, and therefore I will do it. Mate, I have to make sure my promises mean something, all right? <laughs> but it's no stress. This will be a crystal commission. Yes, that's correct. 
So, which is why, again, like, the shapes are very simple, because this will be very simplified when it's finished. Also, I saw um, Godzilla ask earlier, what's Maya? Uh, Maya is another 3D software. Like ZBrush, like Blender, it's just bigger and scarier. It's bigger, scarier, does more, and it costs an absolute fortune. Oh, right, PewDiePie, yeah, that's that's true. Okay, okay, that's that's a very good point. <laughs> Even more reason I should do it. <laughs> nah, I am sorry, I've not done it already. I really am. Like I said, New Year's resolution. Autodesk. Um, oh, wait, after the hide, you should do PewDiePie's mega build. Um, PewDiePie's mega build is going to be the next one I do. Ah! You don't think Maya's worth the press tag? I don't really know much, like, enough to... to say if it's worth or not. I just know that it is very popular in the industry. M maybe it is overpriced, actually. It might just be overpriced. I don't personally know. Right, let's get that fur then, and we'll all the feathers more like, and we will just tuck the feathers away in here. In fact, it's probably not even going to be seen, so I'm going to be a little bit quick with that. <laughs> Good, but I'm glad. I was really sad when you disappeared before. Autodesk uh, base editor thus cancelled to learn and a hefty price tag. I see. Do you know about Warhammer: Age of Sigma? I know about Warhammer. I don't know about Age of Sigma. Uh, do you have an ARC server? I do, yes. I do have an ARC server. I've got a server for the Patreons. I've got three servers, actually. However, they are currently um, in standby, because we are getting ready to shut down in about three weeks, because we're waiting for Genesis. When Genesis Part 2 comes out, we're all going to be back to playing again. And saying that, some people are still playing on the servers, so if any of you guys are like subs or patrons, you want to come play, you're more than welcome to. It just means it'll be like a little bit quiet. Have you done a rumble horn? A rumble horn. I. Wait, hold on. Which one's rumble horn? Me. Rumble horn. Uh, dragon. Yes, actually, I've sculpted rumble horn. Hold on. Let me show you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Hold on. Am I blind? There it is. Yes. I have sculpted one. Very shiny. You begin the itch to play arc again. Ah, oh, me too, actually. I began the itch to play arc and I, I need to I need to carry on with the hardcore playthrough. That's what I'm gonna be doing when I get back into arc again as a hardcore playthrough, which I might be doing tomorrow. Maybe. If not next week. Why did you stop making sculptures videos? Oh, uh, I stopped doing sculptures. Pure, if I'm gonna be honest, just because ZBrush is bigger and better. Uh, I stopped doing sculptures because at the time I was gifted ZBrush Core, which was just more stable. And then I've since been gifted ZBrush by PewDiePie. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just an overall more powerful tool. I have been contemplating using sculptures again, because I know not everyone can use um, can use that brush. Alligator! <laughs> Hello, alligator. Thank you for the 22 month resub. Welcome, mate. And you can buy me too. And hydrate. I shall hydrate. Oh, my tea. Give my tea. Good reminder. Thank you. A crimson gore gutter. I've made that in Spore. I think I've made nearly every How to Train Your Dragon dragon in Spore. Nearly all of them. There's like a handful I've not done. There we go. By the way, I do want to say I know I've missed a lot of people in the chat and I am sorry. Uh, I am, <laughs> I am trying my best, but it's been it's been very uh, busy today. It's good to see. 
And I'm also trying not to rush. I think yesterday I was rushing too much to talk to everyone and it got a bit chaotic on my part. <laughs> so I'm sorry for not getting everyone this time. But I am trying to read as much as I can. I'm definitely trying. Is ZBrush free? It's not. There is a free version of ZBrush, but it's very, very small. If anything, um, no, no, it wouldn't actually. I was going to mention Sculptress. I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, no, there's a free version of uh, ZBrush where you can do like basic little bits of sculpting in, but not like what I'm doing here. Oh, whoops. Oh, you want to see one in ZBrush? A oh, crimson gold cutter in ZBrush would be really cool, actually. Right then, that is one leg done. Now, like I mentioned earlier, for people just tuning in now, the design on this is really basic because this will be very simplified when it's finished. So I am doing this a bit, you know, a little bit rough, but it will make sense when it's done. Hello, Wyamir, welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. What is everyone doing while watching the stream? You're watching while doing uh, math in school? Ah. Oh man, that's good to hear that you're still, um, that you're working while doing this. That is a question. I always get curious every now and then whenever, um, like, what people are doing while watching. Oh yeah, the silhouette. It's really useful, isn't it? There you go. I'll make it bigger for you. If, if you like it. If you want it even. <laughs> the silhouette is really useful. What am I sculpting? I'm sculpting a fluffy Godzilla character for Little Therapod. This is a commission. When I saw the Crimson Gorgata for the first time, it became one of, my, one of your favorites. Same. It looks awesome. I love the Crimson Gorgata. It's got a very badass name for what ended up looking like a very regal creature. Let's see bit more fur like that, a little bit more downwards like that. You're playing Flight Rising, you're playing Rimworld. Painting miniatures, ooh. I was talking to your self-paced English class, but you're eating now. Have you played Monster Hunter Rise demo? I have not, no. Uh, the Rise is only available on the Switch, isn't it? I don't have a Switch. If it's on PC, I'll play it in a heartbeat. I would love to play it on PC. You're doing a raid boss right now? Oh, good luck, Mihal. You're just procrastinating? No, Rag! Mate! Doodle! Doodle with me. Well, that sounds weird. But I mean it anyway. Do it. The thing I like the most about you is that you can set right... Wait, hold on. The thing I like... Oh, it's gone now. Okay. Well, Juno, thank you. <laughs> Looks awesome both on the image and your one. Thank you. And dark collars. I hope your headache passes soon, my dude. Right, it's another bit of fur done, I'd say. Yeah, you're right. The silhouette looks awesome. I love the way the silhouette looks. I don't really pay attention to it very often. Right, let me just reset this. Right, contain yourself, guys. Don't panic. I'm doing fur. It has a fluffy belly. Right, let me just... I'm just going to do this a bit quickly, because I don't like working here. Let's do that. Do a bit there. Can I rush it out a little bit? Just jot it out. So one like that, one like that. One up there in the middle. Which is a lot more... Outwards, that looks good, cool. Yes, I hate working in this area on stream. People get very strange and it's annoying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna rush it. I say that, I bloody rotated the wrong direction five times. Ah! Uh, let me poke back at Tlingo prices. Oh, yeah, I'll lick my prices. Thank you, Draki. Absolute legend, because I'm missing a lot. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm missing a lot of the chat today. 
thankfully I've got badass moderators who will help you help me help me help you. You know what I mean. I love my mods. There we go. If that's about enough, all I can do there. Now let's go do the tail. The tail is more enjoyable to do. Uh, the drawing is made by Thera. Yes, the drawing in the bottom right hand corner was made by Little Therapod. This is her character. And I think she did a fantastic job on her own, like, the reference of her own character. It looks brilliant. Have you seen Shin, Shin Godzilla? I have not actually, no. I would like to. Let's see. Just uh, catching up? Cool. I was reading everything on the chat there. Uh, both chat setters. Right then, so now I want that to be like a great big fluffy tail, which will cover up some of the spikes a little bit. That's gone the wrong direction. Let's try that again, so a bit like that. Forward and a bit to the left, like that. I think once I'm done with the fur, I'm pretty much done with the model itself, and then I can get to uh, processing it. Because you know how I've been saying the entire time about how this is very rushed for a reason and it'll look good when it's done? I'm nearly at that point where I can actually make it look good when it's done, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean. Nearly there. It's what I like about this crystal sculpt. So basically like my equivalent of a sketch. Like if you imagine like a sketch on paper, like something like nice and simple. This is kind of my equivalent. Not currently right now, by the time it's done. You had to go salt your driveway. What did you miss? <laughs> Welcome back, Storm. I hope um I hope you're doing alright the snow over there. And for what did you miss? Uh, I don't actually know to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, I've already forgotten. I think just chatting to be honest. Uh, to make the fur, do you texture it or paint it? How do you make the fur look like fur? So normally, right, the way I normally do fur is Imagine a statue, like an actual real statue, like a, a Greek statue, where they do the hair, how it's very carved in and sculpted. That's how I normally do fur like that. I kind of uh, sculpt it into the model. Uh, because this is a much more simple design, right now I'm just doing it like this, where it's very um, blocky. In fact, what's a good example? Give me one moment. Do I have like, a good example I can show you while I drink my tea? Give me one moment. <laughs> what is a more fluffy thing? I guess this is a bit of an example, actually. You see how I kind of like sculpt it into the hair there? And a bit around the fur, so it like kind of tips out, or oh, sorry, a bit around the chin, jaw. That's one example I do fur in. Another one here. This is a character I'm drawing, actually. This is a portrait I did. Now I'm doing the full body. Same character. I forgot about that. <laughs> This is another technique where I just do like um, spike after spike after spike. What else? I don't really do fur very often. I should do fur more often. It's much harder. Another one here where it's kind of um, sculpted. Is that like a close up? No. Oh, there you go, like the tail. Again, just very wispy. Uh, spike after spike looks like the equivalent of drawing scales. It is. Uh, doing lots and lots of spikes is really tedious. It takes a long time, but it pays off towards the end. It really pays off at the end. Oh, uh, I like... Oh, mate, uh, I love reptilians. Mate, reptiles are my favourite thing to draw. What dino is your favourite in Ark? My favourite Ark dinosaur is the Therizinosaurus. One second, I'm just stretching. Oh, excuse me. Get a bit of blood flow. Is this a rough portrait or a detailed portrait? Purple turtle, welcome. This is actually a crystal sculpt. This is the 20 pound crystal sculpt option. When it's finished, it will actually look like crystal. I'm just uh, blocking it out, if you will. 
I'm just finishing my tea, then I'll get back into it. Rag, what did you say? <laughs> Good cup of tea. Uh, Rag, you're going to be learning Zephyrus from scratch. Oh, right, okay then. That's interesting. Learning from, like, relearning it from scratch. I can imagine that being very difficult, actually. It's like the whole blank slate thing, isn't it? It's a lot harder to teach a, a slate that's already been drawn on. Mate, I really hope you find success with it. I really do. Have I played Hollow Knight yet? Not yet. I need to play Hollow Knight. I do. A lot of people say it's like Ori, and I loved, loved, loved Ori. What kind of tea am I drinking? Uh, peachy Tips, which is a black tea. With a bit of milk, a bit of sugar. It's like a very, very mild coffee in taste. And I am absolutely hooked <laughs> on tea. I love tea. Like, you know how some people drink a lot of coffee all the time? For me, it's tea. I, I drink tea like coffee. Don't try the Pantheons for your mental health. Oh, now I want to. <laughs> nah, noted. Thank you, Godzilla. Hmm, I kind of want to now that you mentioned it. Yes. Yes, why am here? I do like PG Tips. It's great, isn't it? You have two cats named Simba and Delilah. Oh, they're really cute. And why not gaming? High five. What about Terrarium? Oh, that's probably for a different conversation. Let's see. Is that about symmetrical? I said it's about even, isn't it? Right, let's take a step back then. No, there's a bit more I can do with this. There's still a bit more I could do. Just in terms of like small, simple features. Yes, as Draki said there, I am a masochist. When it comes to games, I am an absolute masochist. I love difficult games. I can't stand horror. I do not like horror games, but I love hard games like um, like getting over it, like I Am Bread. <laughs> like Ark. When did you first start uploading videos? Oh, that was back in 2009? Maybe 2010? I've, this YouTube, the YouTube channel is actually really old. Uh, this YouTube channel is about 11, 12 years old now. It's, it's kind of funny, really. So, quick little disclaimer. I don't mind my viewership, right? I don't mind that, like, I'm not really bothered about view numbers anymore. But I will often get people come in saying, like, how do you have this many subs and this few viewers? And it's because the channel's really old. <laughs> A lot of people have moved on. I've garnered this many subs over the course of a decade. And, uh, <laughs> understandably, a lot of people aren't watching anymore. You will then love Pantheons, just don't try the fifth Pantheon. Noted. The Evolution Challenge. I've already done the Evolution Challenge, the Pitiful Worm, right? Where you don't ever evolve. I have done that, and it was my... I hated it. I hate it. The uh, no evolution challenge. Then again, I did it on hard difficulty. I've seen a lot of people who do the challenge do it on like uh, medium or easy. I did it on hard. It was horrible. Never again. I should try sculpt the full Greek pantheon. Oh, imagine sculpting Zeus or Hades. Oh, that'd be really cool, actually. Yeah, Fox. Or Livy, exactly, yeah, like a lot of people don't realise I'm still here. <laughs> so a lot of people have moved on. Which again, is fine, I'm okay with it. Completely okay with it. But it is interesting, isn't it? Spore Griffin Tutorial, yes, that is one of, one of my very first um, uploaded videos, the Griffin Tutorial. Fun fact, this channel, Dark Edge TV, is my third channel. The other two I obviously don't use anymore, but I actually had two other channels before this one. This was like, for, for, for younger me, I was like 14 I think at the time. When I first made this channel, this was going to be like, you know, my big professional 
hardcore channel compared to the other two, and well, I mean, technically it happened. Technically, I succeeded in that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm so glad you have. I've always enjoyed your content. I appreciate that, Livy. It's been around for so long, most people don't stick with it. Exactly. That's why um, that, That's why I have less views compared to my sub count. But again, I'm okay with that. How long will, I, will it take? Hold on. Oh, Storm. Uh, so for the gimme VIP thing, to put into perspective, no one has earned it via points yet. I, I don't know how long it'll take. Maybe a couple of years? <laughs> Take a while. There is a worm challenge and then no evolution challenge if if uh, I make no mistakes. The no evolution one, you get the better than Darwin achievement. Better wait, I've not heard of that one. Better than Darwin achievement. Oh, interesting. I've actually not heard about that. How about modeling a bit of the atomic breath? That would give you a nice way to color the back plates. Oh, this will not be colored that richly if that makes sense that's a great idea dark colors it's a really good idea but the colors will be very simple so i won't really get the opportunity however however guys one thing i need to do really badly is i need to actually make it more examples of my commissions because i got so many different styles so what i need to do at some point is like a comparison like to make the same same character again and again in every style so people know exactly how they differ. And the character's gonna use is Godzilla. So when I do get around to that, I could do like some kind of atomic breath thing for the big version. That'd be that'd be really good because that you know, again to like show off the different styles. I think that'd be really effective. Right, I think let me just move that up a little bit. There we go. I think we're about almost there in terms of the style or in terms of what I need. What is a Darwin achievement? Give me a second. So, Spore better than Darwin. Hold on, let me try that again. Spore better than Darwin achievement. What is that? Oh, go away, you stupid cookies. Reject all of it. I don't see it. It's like a unofficial, like, do people make it up? I'm just reading the chats. <laughs> and Livy, I'm glad you think so. I, I don't see that achievement anywhere. I don't think it's a real one. It's an unofficial, oh, right, okay. All right, that's a little bit different. That makes sense. Thank you very much. Have you watched the Among Us musical? Wait, what? The Among Us musical? No. I, I need to know now. Pardon? <laughs> I was not aware that was a thing. And Mudgy, welcome back. Uh, what have you missed? Mostly just chatting, to be honest. Just chatting while I make progress on this. Right, let me just, in terms of the fluffies, give a big old fluffy eyebrow. Like that. It is supposed to have, in fact, what does he thing look like again? It's gonna have like a very big fluffed out neck. Like that was something that Theropod did want. Because uh, this character of hers, when it's like aggressive or, um, Taunting or whatever, his neck puffs out. It's like a threat display. And that was one thing she specifically wanted with this. It kind of reminds me of a turkey. So we'll do that as well then. Kind of like that, I think. Hey, who's heard this song? <laughs> I think we've all heard it a lot in my videos. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think that's about how I want this to be. Turkeyzilla, basically, yes. 
Warhammer Age of Sigma is a fantasy Warhammer for the... Uh, hold on. Alright then, that's interesting, Clarus. The better than Darwin achievements going through a playthrough is Celtic Galactical without evolving at all. I have done that. I've already done that. On hard difficulty. Like, that is the Pitiful Worm Challenge. And Junus, you're correct. Yeah, Narotiza, who, by the way, works on Thrive. Fun fact. Uh, Narotiza is the person who started it. He started the Pitiful Worm Challenge, and he did a very good job of making it funny. His videos were very, very funny. And he was the one that uh, started it a long time ago. And it's kind of like just uh, the whole challenge idea has kind of lingered and evolved since. <laughs> evolved, pun unattended. <laughs> but yeah, I've seen uh, Narotaza, I'm fairly sure, is on the Thrive team. Or at least I know he's uh, involved in Thrive. Which I thought was really cool, first time I saw that. So what is a speed run of the Better Than Darwin Pitiful Worm chat? They sped run it? What an absolute lunatic. I'm gonna guess probably on easy difficulty, right? Let's see, how am I gonna do this bit here? She's got a very, very fluffy face. Um, this is where things get a bit trickier. I think the face is a bit more like this. Yes. So this channel failed itself. Wait, it failed itself? What do you mean by that? It's a doula. Yes, uh, Jenna, that's actually a really good description. The puffy neck thing is basically a doula, like what me uh, me me like what mooses have. Yeah, that's basically the same thing, isn't it? I think. Oh, it evolved. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually a very good point. So when the whole no evolution channels uh, challenges <laughs> evolved, yeah, you can say it did fail itself. A doolap is a thing that hangs on the neck, like an iguana or a, or a white winged guan. I think it basically is a doolap, isn't it? It's, it is around the neck. You thought there were spikes, apparently they're fur. It will make sense by the end of it. Yeah, th what what I'm doing right now will make sense by the uh, by the end of it. What small creation you made is the worst or ugliest? My worst creation, in my opinion, was the... Uh, what was it? What was it? The uh, Guardian from Legend of Zelda. Ugliest creation. What was my ugliest creation? I feel like... Oh. Oh, I know. Spongebob. Uh, yeah, it would definitely be Spongebob. Yeah. I had... I When I was younger, I did make Spongebob creation and it is just terrible. Think. I'm just thinking a lot about this. Okay, I think I'm actually pretty much done with the face. Now that I look at it closely. Yeah, the the Legend of Zelda um, Guardian was indeed like an absolute. Uh, it, it was just awful. I just struggled. I really, really struggled. It came out looking terrible. It was just bad. But the sponge of creation, which a lot of you guys have never seen before because it's like a- I made it in like 2009, 2010. It's just weird and creepy. Right, let me- I think I'm basically- am I basically done? I keep on like seeing more I need to do. I think I am basically done now. Let me just quickly grab all of this and split. That way, I can do that. Mask, mirror, well, meld, blah, 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 exactly. That made sense. Do that. Oh, it actually synced perfectly. That's surprising. Never mind then. I think this is pretty much done to be like ready to be processed now. Can we see your creation at the end of the stream? Maybe. <laughs> Do I want to show it to you? Oh, hold on, let me have a stretch. Oh, excuse me. Let's load spore. And while I'm at it, so let's just save that. 
and let me just make a new version called Crystal. This is where things get a bit more intense now. So first, like while Spore's loading, let's just merge the head and the jaw together, and then to the rest of the body and the tail. Those are the thighs. Let's see, that's the thighs, that's the feet, that's all the arms. So I can merge for a very long time, can't I? Uh, yep, right, I can see how much I can do. So let's go ahead and just merge all of that together. Let me see, the hands too. All the fur around the face. Spike, the spikes will be separate, that's the floor, we don't need the floor anymore, we'll get rid of that. Uh, let me see, that's the claws and that is the big bits of fur. So all we have left then is the body, the eyes, the claws and the spikes. Cool beans. Okay, Spongebob. When did I make this? 2010. Loading. There we go. I think this is the ugliest thing I've ever made. It was back in 2010. So I was still new-ish. Not really, it's two years. And it's very broken and it is it's just it's just bad. Is it's ass is moving. It's absolutely horrifying and cursed. I don't know what's going on with its face. Apparently I gave it whiskers for freckles. It's very flat. It's just bad. Why does it contort like that? I don't know. <laughs> this is ten years old, by the way. Just 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 to really reaffirm it, this is a 10 year old creation. It's probably older than some of my viewers. <laughs> oh, he was once a tumor. He still is. <laughs> he still is a tumor. Yeah, it's bad. Like I said, imagine uplifting this. No. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So, you know how a lot of you guys sometimes worry that uh, you think that, you know, your creations might, look, might not look very good? Don't worry, as you can see, we all start from somewhere. I started with that. <clears throat> if I can make something as stupid as that, I guarantee you guys can absolutely make good things. Because we all start from somewhere, and I started with that. <laughs> You don't have sleeves or trousers or legs. Yeah, I didn't know how to do that. Shut up. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> it was caveman SpongeBob, yes. There was an entrance. Exactly, exactly. A lot of my old creations are really bad. Like, I, I guess it's subjective, you know, some people might like them. But I feel like a lot of my old creations were really bad. And I think that's something that we can all, like, everyone can... Uh, we can all relate to that, where a lot of people think their own creations are bad. You know, give a little example there. Of one of my own, and just... The thing about a sport, right? Like, the reason why I got where I am now is just because I really enjoyed playing. Like, it really came down to simple as that. I really, really enjoyed making things. So I just kept on doing it, and because I kept on doing it, I kept on learning from it. It's like drawing. It's just like drawing. And to any school for that matter. And I'll be honest, the mods help. I'll be completely honest, the mods do help. Uh, Dark Injection, with it allowing for like, you know, more parts added. Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I would not be where I am now if it weren't for Dark Injection. Because having like the, the big crazy looking creatures on YouTube, that's what got a lot of people to, you know, come look at the channel because of things like Red Dragon, like Terra Draco. Right, I'd say that it's pretty much merged and ready to go. Oh, that's not. There we go, that is. 
And I also want, just want to merge all of that. And just give it all a quick little blend. And I do want to inflate some of it. It's a... Oh, not like that. Actually, maybe I do want to do that. There we go. Make it all just a bit bigger and rounder. Make everything just a bit larger. So it's very... Right now, it's very flimsy looking, I, th I thought. There we go. And otherwise, I think that it's ready to crystallize. It has no teeth. Uh, I should give it teeth. I'm going to give it teeth. The poor thing deserves teeth. Welcome back, Wyoming. What in the world is that? Sammy? Uh, wait, you mean this this sculpt or what I was creating earlier? The first thing looks like a devil joke from Monster Hunter. It kind of does, doesn't it? A yard crate is still better than what I can do. Yeah, it looks kind of fugly, but you got the details pretty good. Uh, I mean... I, I've, I, I've not seen your creation, so of course I can't uh, compare. At least I can't remember uh, off the top of my head. But I do think that, uh, as they say, you know, we are our own worst critics. I think a lot of people's creations are a lot better than they think than they think they are. Did you show the handsome Sami? No. I did not show handsome Sami. Should I show handsome Sami? Wait. Wait, that's in the thumbnail? No, it's not in the thumbnail, is it? Don't be in the thumbnail. Oh, it's not, thank God. That would have been horrible. Uh, but what you may have seen, though, I was showing off an old creation. <laughs> Anubis! I would love to do Anubis. You want to see... Oh, you want to see... <laughs> You want to see a uh, handsome Sami? I... Fine. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me put the teeth in. And then I will go show you guys handsome Sami. I love Anubis. Anubis is adorable. It's one of my favourite sculpts. Oh, that's a point. Right. Let me show Anubis first then. That's something that Jackie and I did together. Because someone was asking about fur earlier. How I do fur. And that's actually a really good, like, different example. It's completely different. And then I'll show you handsome Sami. Give me a second. Or give me, like, a minute, even. So we've got the upper teeth there. We're the same down here. Uh, the teeth are blunt because they're going to be simplified anyway. This will end up being sharp anyway. So there's no point in making them, like, really precise. Right, so we'll do that. Like that. I'll move those in a moment, that's fine. Move that down there, move that there. Good stuff. And then what I'll do is just move all of that slightly outwards like that, and we'll move that inwards like that. Oh, that's wrong. Give me a sec. Let's we'll just go ahead and split and merge. Or split that one. There you go. So that we can then... That looks a little bit derpy. I think I'll be okay though but once, it's, once it's completely finished. And we should give it a tongue, shouldn't we? overall happy with that now then now then you guys want to see things okay let me show you some things wait Guy, are you okay Guy? oh uh Guy, the emotes on youtube for some reason require colons like you would in discord where did download the file uh, for david online south age mod i do not know off the top of my head but i would recommend looking at davo online uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, it's hard to see the entire chat. I'm sorry. Right. Hello, Wushi. Welcome. Doing very well, thank you. How about yourself? And yeah, this is a brush. So, as I was saying then, so first of all, I'm going to show you guys a nice thing. I'll show you like a nice one. Where is... <laughs> you didn't see that? <laughs> Where is... Uh, animals? A newbie. This is something that Draki and I did together. 
when it loads. Sometime today. There we go. So it's so something nice and cute, right? Nice and cute, nice and chill. It's like a little bumblebee Anubis. And one of you are asking about fur. So normally I sculpt my fur, but one thing you can do in Zed Brush is render fur using fiber mesh. The fiber mesh is in the name. It's a mesh of fibers. And when you render it, all these little spiky bits all around, when it's done loading, there you go, will actually look like fur. This is something I need to do more often, actually. I need to use fiber mesh more often. It's not compatible for like rigging and animating, but it's good just to look at. It kills a computer. It, it does. Yes, it's CPU, GPU expensive. It, it really is. Now, now that I've seen the, the wonderful cute thing, the adorable newbies, a lot of you want to see what handsome Somi is. Where is handsome Somi? Is it a gift? It is a gift. This, this, this was a gift for Somi of her uh, little happy reptile character. And uh, for some reason, I thought to do that. And she was not ready. Let's go back to our commission. Let's move away from that. <laughs> it is cursed. It's horrible. It's bad. And I've done a lot of rendering with it. Oh, rag. I had no idea. That's very, <clears throat> that's very good to know. Thank you. What the hell is that? It's it's bad. That's all we have to know. Right then, so <laughs> Decimation Master, a pre-process. <laughs> Biblically accurate angel. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird. It's, it's a weird, weird uh, model. It's, it's another in-joke. Right then. I guess we'll go back to the commission. It's, it's fine, guys. You didn't see it. You didn't see anything. Right, so pre-processing, -pro pre so pre-processing, English. There we go, so that's finished. Just go ahead and just save. That's the wrong place to save it in. I'll save that again. Not in there. Under commissions, Flucilla. Right, here's where it finally becomes crystallized. And this is why, you, this is where you're gonna see why everything is so simple. Uh, let's do decimation of, let's try one. That's way too high. Let's try. 0.5 and now I have Oliver hi Oliver are you in the way you're very in the way okay then there you go mate have a space there uh, don't don't mind me I'm, I'm not doing anything important yeah just sit right there in the way thanks okay <laughs> let's try 0.2 that's a bit, uh, could this work? Nah, there's a lot of details missing in the face. So that's a bit too low resolution, as you can tell. Yeah, it's right in the way now. Thanks, Oliver. 0.3. Ah, it saves a lot of the detail in the face. So you can see all the bits of fur. The neck looks this just like solo it. So there we go. So everything around here is properly separated. That's good. The fingers are in place. Like, so basically, what's a bit difficult about this, so if I do this like really too low resolution, it'll break parts of the model. Like fingers will go missing. Uh, the face will be distorted. But with the current setting I've got now, you can just about see the eye sockets. You can see about a you know, little nostril there. The fingers are intact. The tail looks good. Let's do the spikes next. Let's try 0 0.3 again. Ooh, that looks quite nice. It does get a little bit more jagged towards the end here. But you see, this is why I was quite lazy and just copy pasting every individual spike because when I now set to this lower resolution, every spike does actually look quite a bit different. I mean, it's the same shape, but the polygons themselves are actually different shapes. So it really allows me to be a bit, not lazy per se, but cut a couple of corners because it gets the same effect at the end of it. The only thing I don't like, actually, is how the fur here looks slapped on. I need to fix that around the leg as well, okay? I need to fix that in the moment. Storm, have a wonderful day. I'll probably see you on Discord then. Take care of yourself. 
Oliver's daily getting away with Rebecca moment. Yep. The teeth are gone though. The teeth aren't there yet. I've not done the teeth yet. I tend to make the really small parts um, a different layer. That way I can like really fine tune it. And Gillian, yes. Hands to Tommy is what Horace is to me. Oh no, Draggy. <laughs> Let me think. Right, so next thing then is the claws. Oh god, Zillow, so no, congratulations. Well done. Mate, very well done. Oh, that was the wrong button. A uh, blender is harder to learn than ZBrush, but you can do a lot more with it. Let's see, that is probably as far as I'm going to get away for the claws. So let's try a little bit smaller. Let's try 0 0.2. Okay, everything is intact. Let's try 0 0.1. Okay, so you see now how a couple of claws have just vanished. It's too distorted. So 0 0.2 is about my limit. There we go. So now they're still there and they're still like, you can see what they are. Let's try the teeth. I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> Let's try that again. Decimate. Okay, not bad. Let's try again, smaller. 0.1. That is again about the limit. So even though this tooth down here did again distort, I can still just move it upwards. I can fix that. Eyes. Mm, that's a bit too low resolution. Let's try 0 0.2. There we go. I like that. So now if I just chuck on like this material here, now it's crystal. Job done. <laughs> I spend so much time making the model and very little time actually crystallizing it. I like the low poly model. It reminds me of the one. It reminds me of that One Kingdom Super Mario Odyssey. Ah, and Sommy's small dumb lizard gives me life. Me too. I love her little lizard thing. Can you do crystal things in Blender? Uh, I don't know if you can this way, but technically yes, you could. You probably can do this in Blender. I think you could. Right. So the one thing I didn't like was how the bits of fur just looked very separated. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that quickly and make it nice and smooth. Like that. Should go back and fix it all and just make it look a bit nicer. You can, I thought you could, yeah. So according to Rag, who is my go-to for uh, anything 3D, uh, Rag says you can do this in Blender you could i'd be surprised if you couldn't oh and dark color says you can as well fantastic they both say you can it's really more of a technique to be fair it's not like what i'm doing isn't even that fancy it's just i was gonna say i make it look fancy then i realized it's really narcissistic <laughs> but it's basically <laughs> and jenna thank you i'm glad you like it There we go. So yeah, not real, uh, not a bad bit of work really for twenty pounds. That's all the commission costs. It's quite nice, and it's a good bit of fun. It's, it's very relaxing doing these ones. They're like such a nice, simple one that just looks really pretty towards the end. These are very relaxing to do, I find. Right, and do the same on the other side. I wish you guys could see my, I might show you in a moment actually, what Oliver's done. He just completely hogged up all the space on the um, on the desk. He's really in the way. Welcome back, Gabriel. Modeling feels lying playing with clay. It kind of is in a way. Uh, this is what I like about ZBrush is that it's very clay-like. And Jillian, I keep on answering you it's, uh, let, me, let me just find it for you. Yeah, you are annoying me now. <laughs> I've, I've already answered you several times. Uh, let me see. The Devo Cell Sage mod. 
Is that my document? Devo. Let's have a look. There isn't a cell stage mod. There isn't actually one. There's a creature stage mod and bacterioid. Right. I, I don't think what you're looking for even exists. So in that case, bacterioid, which is a cell stage mod, is that. And the creature stage, Devo's creature stage mod, is here. Creature stage overhaul. There you go. Both of those in my document. If you guys want to find more mods, you can find them all in my document in a video description, which you can find right there. All right then. Let me just quickly delete that and let's get back to that reference there. Ah, uh, but you make the crystal look fan fancy. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm very, very glad, Kitsune. Yeah, like I said, the overall technique is honestly very, very simple. Like, I think <laughs> I can imagine Rag is looking at the technique thinking, come on, is that it? <laughs> but again, it's it's just, it's nice and satisfying by the end of it. What was that spam? Oh, okay. Thank you, Draki. Thank you very much. And Dark Collis. There we go. You're going to be AFK for a bit, going to eat. I hope you'll have a wonderful day. You too, Gee, mate. Take care of yourself. Take care, and I'll see you on Discord. Right then. I would say I am nearly done in regards to fixing all the shapes up here. We'll find out when it is low resolution again, low poly. Oliver. Okay. I'm just gonna move this up here instead. Like, obviously you can't see on the stream, but uh, he's blocking the entire middle section of my screen. Uh, just be the way the cat do. Rebecca has good mods. I like my mods. What's really cool about my moderators is that they're all just viewers as well. And that's exactly what I wanted, was uh, viewers who are, you know, who I can trust to moderate. That way, they're actually part of the community and not, you know, I, I don't, I've never wanted like big, you know, scary, intimidating moderators. That's just kind of like a bit counterproductive. And it's why I've got these awesome people who just sit back and chill with us. Right. I'd say that is all pretty much sorted. It's got like a bit of fur around here. I've been watching you since 2017, and what and you're what inspired me to try and get better at making creatures, so thank you. Skin Ivor, welcome, and I'm really happy to hear that. Oh god, did the wrong thing there. Thank you very much, and welcome. Oh, it's always really cool seeing that. Overall, the mods here are pretty chill. Good. I'm really glad that you guys think so. I really am. Especially if we've got people like Draki doing it. Maybe make the belly fur a bit less separated. Uh, I might do actually. That is one place I need to go work on, isn't it? Is the belly fur. Yeah, I'll go check that out in a moment. Splat all that out. Blur all that out. That. The face. I'm okay with how the face is. The face doesn't need to change at all. Oh yeah, you're right. The belly fur looks terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. Um, let me think. Oliver, I love you, mate, but you are so in the way. I need a drink. Thank you very much, Astral. There we go. Oliver, do you want to squeeze that away, please? Move your butt. Or you can just eat my pen instead. That works. Okay, he's, he's sitting down now. They're very effective from what I've seen, plus pretty fun. Good. Right, there we go. Now I can see again. He just sat back down. You see, guys, it's it's six it's uh, 5 30, right? I normally end the stream and feed them. Don't 
Okay. I'm gonna move that out of the way. He nearly just turned off the stream. <laughs> As I was gonna say. <laughs> what was I gonna say? It's currently 5.30. Which means I end the stream at around 6ish. And therefore I feed him immediately after. So he knows he knows food is due soon. <laughs> which is why he's being clingy. Does anyone have any advice for Blender? Oh, right, Mudgy. I'm not very or, or Mudgy? Is it Mudgy or Mudgy? Anyway, I'm not uh, I'm not very good at Blender. However, there are people in the chat who definitely could help if you wanted to. If you're on Discord, you'd probably get a lot of help there. If if you want to, of course. There's also a ton of tutorials online. Flipped Normals, another YouTube channel, it's fantastic for uh, just 3D in general. Excuse me, I dribbled a bit saying that. <laughs> I'm an adult, by the way. How big of a Goshi fan are you? I'm a very casual fan. Uh, I really like Godzilla in terms of designs. I really like Legendary's Godzilla, but I'm very newbie, I guess you could say. I don't know much about it. I'm with that for a lot of things, to be honest. A lot of things like Pokemon, like Monster Hunter. Well, I, I now play Monster Hunter, but like Pokemon, I mostly just like the designs more than anything else. I hear the blender, the blender donut tutorial is pretty good. Yes, I've heard that as well. A lot of people do the, the donut tutorial. I had to make a donut and Z brush, just for reasons. Welcome back, Mind Move. Right, that is looking a lot better. Looks a lot neater now, a lot more tidy. There are some parts that are still quite, um, how would you say? Defined, like the shoulders. I want it to stay that way. Just make a donut. Hey, Draki. Hold on, wait, wait. Done. I have made donut. The donut has been done. I am now a blender expert. Right, just fix that now. And Rag, what did you say earlier, Rag? Actually, I was curious. It's definitely a nice and quick, easy way to do things. Um, could see crashing the automated mod or oh, creating it. Ah, Rag, that could be interesting, actually. You're right. Uh, it's outdated, so it doesn't apply anymore, unfortunately. Oh, really? Oh, that's a bit of a shame, then. There's a full tutorial series on the actual Blender website. Yep, I can imagine that being extremely helpful, for sure. Well, SolidWorks, I recognise that name. Fairly sure they're very good with it. I mean, they must be, you'd recommend it. So them and Flips Normals are great for, like, tutorials. But I stand by what I said, though, as well. Like, there's a lot of people in the Discord community who would be happy to, you know, try to give a hand if you need it. The people on my server are generally very helpful, which is nice. Why is it a glazed donut? <laughs> <You know? laughs> because I'm lazy. That is something I want to do in ZBrush, actually, is make more objects. I make a lot of uh, animals and such. I'd like to try making objects. Such as a glazed donut. That'd be fun. And Draki, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Hello, Jackie. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing timing. <laughs> Welcome. Right, now I think we're done. Let's go ahead then and just resave it. Let's go ahead and pre-process it. Pre-pre-pre-process. -pre oh, I can't even speak. Process. Let's hit the magic button, it'll do things for me. Let's do that. <laughs> this was the fastest three hours of your life. Damn. I hope you've been enjoying it. And Jillian, you're welcome. You're very welcome. You might consider dropping by your server one day. Yeah, feel free. The servers, like my Discord servers are all very chill. Just the one standard request I ask from people is don't, don't just come to spam memes. You know, come chat. Or lurk if you prefer. It's not, it's not a meme server. 
<laughs> I know a lot of YouTubers do meme surfers. I'm not one of them, I'm afraid. <laughs> Sorry. But we do share like a lot of art and play games. There we go. So you see now that I've tidied up um, all the fur, how it just looks a bit less um, less slapped on now. It actually, like, for example, the arms. The arms are a really good example. How the fur looks like it's actually part of the creature, not just slapped on. In some other places, it does look a little bit jagged still, like the um, tail here, but that's okay though. A crimson gold, uh, crimson gold gutter and zed brush in the future. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool in the future. Right, I am happy with this. Oh, whoops. There we go. Flip Normal's videos looks very helpful for learning how to see stuff from Zed, from Zed Brush and Blender. Good, yeah, you're very welcome. You are very welcome. I hope it helps. Right then, let's just tidy things up a little bit. We'll tuck the teeth into the jaw where they're meant to be. They're not meant to be poking out anywhere. Uh, especially here. We'll just slip all that back in. We'll make that tooth an actual tooth, not a lump. There we go. Right, happy with that. Where else? How about the claws? Let me just do that. There we go. So you can see this bit here is kind of poking through. I do not want that. Let's tuck that in so it's a bit more in pattern. Like it looks like it's actually part of the finger. And I'm happy with how the other ones are there. Let's try the other hand. So again, you can see how it clips out there. I don't like that. So I'm going to move this around like that. Like really simple stuff, realistically. I don't mind how that one's positioned. I don't mind how that one's positioned. Oh wait, the thumb one looks funny. No, that's fine. And what about the toes? Oh, I overall like the way they look. I don't mind if it's like overlaps a little bit here and there. It does not have to be perfect. I just want it to look tidy, you know, just a little bit on the tidy end. Like here, for example. And the spikes. I think the spikes are fine as well, aren't they? Like for the most part. They might like poke through a little bit here and there, but that's kind of okay. Uh, there looks a bit dodgy. We'll hide that one there. All these like really pitiful little spikes here. We'll get rid of them. But we'll keep all the larger ones that are poking out. Like these two here, for example. They're okay. Let's see. Down there's another silly one. We'll just... Oh, wait, one sec. We'll just get rid of that. If it'll let me. There we go. Get rid of that one too. And we're good. How's the face? Face is good. We're good. Right, that's the model done. Now for the colouring. Ginger. There we go. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed the word tidy. I don't hear it enough. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a satisfying word, isn't it? Tidy. Now that you mention it. Hello, Trolls. You welcome back. What do you think about a Minecraft cave update? I'm really excited. I really want it badly. I really want the cave update. I'm so sick of Minecraft's caves. <laughs> and thank you, Jackie and Hydra. Welcome. Thank you very much. The crest of your models is basically the entire models in the game in Deep Rock Galactica. Uh, oh, Hydra, thank you very much. Yeah, it's funny, actually. Dark Hollis, now that you mention it, because low poly was understandably... So required a long time ago because it's just, you know, like leather systems and such. <laughs> In a way, I've kind of like reverted. Is reverted the right word? No, that's not the right word, is it? Uh, it kind of is, actually. It's just funny to think about. Right. Thank you, Claris. Oh, muggy. Okay, then. Good to know. Thank you. The Doom creatures. The Doom creatures would be cool, actually. I need to look into Doom. 
Yeah, I really need to look into Doom at some point. So a lot of the creature designs from what I from what little I have seen are really cool. Theropods! Bruh! Been wondering where the hell you were. Here's your commission. Welcome. And by the way, Theropods, a lot of people have been really liking the artwork that you've done, the uh, reference image. A lot of people really like it. <laughs> I'm glad you're liking this so far. Here's the here's what the details as well. I'm just currently colouring it now. Okay, Oliver's moved. I can put my keyboard and my tablet back. There we go. I've, I've been like um, I've had my tablet on my keyboard at the very like edge of my desk, like hovering just barely above because Oliver was in the way. <laughs> Minecraft feels so lonely when you play it by yourself, more so than other games. I kind of feel that way as well, actually. Yeah, I do agree with that. I finally got back into playing Minecraft a little bit a while ago, and as well as it feeling a bit lonely, the oh, I just could not stand the caves. Like, so to put it into perspective, right? With Minecraft, I played it. There we go. Uh, to put Minecraft into perspective, I played it a lot back in around I'd say 2011, maybe more like 2013 is when I stopped playing vanilla. And back then, caving was like, caves were like fairly uncommon and they were like quite simple, you know, it'd be quite hard to find like a really nice big cave network. And I found that when I started playing again recently, caves are just obnoxious. They are everywhere and they're so winding and there's just too much, you know? So I'm really excited about the updates. I really want to see like caves just reworked in general. I hope it's due soon. And Theropods, I'm really, really glad that you think it looks spectacular. I'm really happy about that. Still waiting for the snapshot to come through, come out, though. There isn't going to be a snapshot today, either. Ah, I'm not sure how the American's spelling. Oh, so it is mudgy, then. Like a J sound, yeah. Mudgy, mudgy right? Mudgy. Interesting. Thank you for uh, thank you for confirming. Isn't there a snapshot? Is it Minecraft YouTubers? I actually didn't know there was a snapshot at all. <gasps> yeah, the sounds. <laughs> I hate some of the sounds in there. I can't remember my Minecraft password, so no Minecraft for you. Ah, that, that's unfortunate here. I actually had to buy myself a new account a while ago. Uh, my Minecraft account is, or my my old account is so old that. Is so old that I am unable to convert it to a Microsoft account. It just won't let me. I can't. There's a word for it. I can't like inherit it. I think or convert it. So I just couldn't use it anymore. But thankfully, though, <laughs> lucky me, when I did make my account recently, my name was available. <laughs> Thank goodness. So I actually got my real name now. My previous name in Minecraft, because again, it's so old, was Loki. And since we actually have a Loki in our community, it caused quite a bit of confusion. <laughs> Just suddenly, there was two Lokis. Migrate? I think that's the word, yeah. Yes, the end, the end dimension needs an update, I agree with that. Uh, Flip Normals is great. A lot of their stuff can apply to pretty much all forms of art. They've also got a few really good courses paid on their site. The Sculpting Fundamentals once degree is amazing. It teaches traditional sculptors at leagues and fundamentals. Have to lot for learning to sculpt more realistically. Interesting rag. I might maybe have to have a look into the pace for stuff then. Hmm. Right then, let's just make all that a bit more pale, it's about to be a different colour anyway. So that's the overall um, red, red slash orange, the ginger. That's about how I want it to be. There's a lot of black as well, so let's just quickly save that. What about the nether update? I love the nether update. I really like the way the nether looks. Okay, so the underbody's a bit like of a bluish grey. That's a bit light. No, actually I think that works, that works. So we get the entire ne the entirety of the underneath of the tail. Let me just quickly drag that to there and enable back face. <gasps> Jack 
Ricky, do it. Model, it's fun. It's always really cool seeing more people do 3D. Uh, no, Livy, I have a graphics tablet. So I'm doing, doing it with a pen. Though I could say a lot of this being very doable with a, with a uh, mouse. Like, I use pen and keyboard. Just make the underside of that quite dark. There we go. The Shadow New Boss in Minecraft, there's only the Wither and the Ender Dragon. Is that really only that? I thought a new one had been added since. Is it really just them two? That's. Wow, that's kind of disappointing, actually. <laughs> I have received an update. Uh, it has received an update, and personally, it's a pretty good one. Finally, the Nether is more interesting than the Barren Wasteland. Oh, oh, sorry. So was people, someone not aware of it? Yeah, Ale, thank you. That's correct. Yeah, there actually has been an update to the Nether. And it does look really nice. I've not played it myself, but I've watched other people, like I've watched other streamers play it, and it does look much more appealing now, the new Nether. The Elder Guardian, that's the one. I thought that was like another boss thing. So that's not an actual boss thing, is it? That's, that's a, bit of a, a bit sad to hear. You never touched Minecraft, but I played a lot of Space Engineers, which I've been told is similar to Minecraft. Ah, huh. I got to get in Space Engineers, to be uh, to be honest. I had the game. I played it a little bit. Did I play it? I did. No, I didn't. That's Space Engine. I do own it, don't I? I played it for an hour. That's right, and then I stopped. I do want to play that one again. I think I think I stopped because I could feel I didn't have the time to play it at the time. There's quite a few games that I backed out of uh, and not got into yet because I was like trying it out and I didn't have the time to actually play it properly. And that is one of them. The new Rise trailer. I haven't seen it. No. Honestly, I'm not interested in Rise until it's available on PC. Which I know sounds very silly, but I don't get excited for things if I can't actually play them. And I want to play it, man. I want Rise to be on PC. I haven't got a Switch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, true, Rag, true. Right, let's do a bit more of that. Let's do some more harsh areas here, like here, for example. So I'll make it a lot darker. Is that nice and symmetrical? It is almost symmetrical. I just need to make this bit here a little bit more blurrier. Yeah, I thought it was exclusive to Switch. That's right. And because I haven't got a Switch, like I know again, it's like very defeatist in a way, but because I have no interest in buying a Switch, I just don't bother getting excited for Switch games. I did hear at one point that there were rumors it was gonna be on PC, but I guess it was just fake rumors. Or is not ready yet. Do I play auction not included? I do not. No. I, I think Mindwolf does actually. I think Mindwolf did play auction not included. I saw her play it at some point. So I saw someone play it. Right then, make all that nice and dark. Make that all nice and dark. She does play it. I thought she did. Thank you, Funky. By the way, Funky, can I just say, it's been really nice seeing more of you lately. <laughs> like, uh, I've just been... I know... I think you've been hanging around for like months now. <laughs> I think it's been a long time, but it's still nice just to see that you've been around more. Yeah, mine off. I remember you playing that. Uh, please stream Undertale. I will not stream Undertale. Sorry. You have added mods, but I kind of prefer vanilla for making ships. Also, no, I'm good at scripting, and so it doesn't really help me. Joseph, what game is that? Making ships? Oh, Space Engineers. Ah, I see, I see. And Toho, welcome, and thank you. 
I'd say that this is coming very close to being nearly done. Like, it's kind of funny, really. I spend, like, what? 70, 80% of the time on this doing the, um, like, making the sculpt? And then the actual final 20% is just this here, like, colouring it in, making it low poly. <laughs> I am normally a lot quicker off camera. Like, these, on average, take me an hour, maybe two hours. So doing this on, cam uh, on camera does slow me down quite a bit, which I'm okay with. I don't mind. Happy to chat. It makes it a lot more enjoyable. But it is funny to see just how things, like, once it hits a certain point, it just, the progress really flies. Yeah, she finally joined what to drag her by the ankles in here. <laughs> I, well, that's the thing, Mindwolf. I remembered for the longest time, in the nicest way, I remember uh, Funky, like, just, just her being Mindwolf's friends. You know, that's all that Funky really was. Because I remember, like, you just kind of lurked for a long time, but it's been really cool to see, like, more of you here. Like, it's actually, like, you know, like, now you're Funky. If that makes sense. That probably made no sense. You know what I mean. And why I'm here, I'm glad. I'm really glad that you like being here. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I see. Yeah, thank you, Draki. Minecraft was dead for a few for, for a few years and just exploded. It did, didn't it? Like mine, mine wolf. No, Minecraft has had a massive resurgence. And it's been really good to see, to be honest. Now, if only Spore could have the same. Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe they'd finally update it. <laughs> Wishful thinking, I know. Imagine if Mr. Beast randomly just dropped at... Oh, just like, dropped by here. If, um, if Mr. Beast appeared, that would be... Weird and incredible. I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> that'd be that'd be really cool. Never will though. I, I think it'll ever happen. Mine wolf was dead for a few years and exploded. Yeah, no, I I very frequently mix up mine wolf and Minecraft. <laughs> I don't mean to. It happens a lot. Uh, why do you, why won't you play Undertale? Um, Undertale. I don't have any problem with the game, but I know that people can be very personal. People can get very upset if you don't play it a certain way and I think that uh, it's just a bad idea to stream it. I am however debating playing it on my own terms. Uh, Sucker Punch, that's really not the way to go around not being banned. Like now I just want to, like, now we just want to time me out on Twitch because you're complaining. <laughs> Then the side company that I made Spore go bankrupt, that's why nothing happened to it. Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the general gist of it is. Like, a lot of people say about how it's basically, um... A lot of people say that, uh, Maxis just folded, like, like, uh, EA broke it or something like that. <laughs> broke it, you know what I mean. I, I don't know. Like, because The Sims is still a thing, and wasn't... Isn't The Sims, like, by Maxis? I don't know if maybe it's now just, like, an EA thing. I'm really not sure. What was the bet you were going to do for a thousand dollars again? Oh, the thousand dollars thing. Uh, what bet was that? Oh, yes, the thousand dollar bet. That was if I deleted my uh, hardcore playthrough on in Ark, I think. Okay, mate. Right, sucker punch. Yeah, yeah. Now you got banned. If there's one thing my mods are not, they are not abusive. If you can't take responsibility for saying random crap in the chat, that's your own problem. Uh, Draki, you might want to keep an eye on Discord. Yeah, my mods are not abusive. I actually take great offence to you saying that. I sometimes accidentally click on the arrows so I can't finish sentences. Oh, that's okay, Junus. I'm just waiting for a spiritual successor for Spore. Yet, yeah, me too. That's the thing I want the most, is a spiritual successor. Like, I've I've given up on a Spore sequel, but I would love a spiritual successor. Did I ever play Zoo Tycoon 2? Yes, and I loved it. 
The Zoo Tycoon was my childhood. Right. I need to play more on stream though. Uh, I need to play more Planet Zoo on stream. I do actually. This is getting quite hard to texture. There we go. And the, so a lot of the face is actually very brown as well. I won't get like every single color in because it will just look a bit chaotic, but I'm trying to get like most of the um, like general colors in. So it's meant to be like very simplified after all. There you go, so something like, I actually quite like the brown there. There we go, something like that. I think it's like a nice balance. Looks like a red panda. <laughs> I can kind of see that actually, it kind of does. Oliver, get out of my way. No, don't meow at me. <laughs> Move. And it's okay, all right, you can go there then. I'm not sure if you guys heard that meow. Like a wolf rex. So you're a zoo tycoon person, person as a roller coaster, roller coaster tycoon three person. For me, when I was before I ever um before I ever played sport, I was into The Sims and Zoo Tycoon two a lot. Right, I'm just looking around. I do actually want all this here to be a bit wider, the white. So the colours aren't completely accurate, but I actually feel like that for a crystal sculpt, if things are like a bit more... What's the, what's the right word here? I don't want the colours to be too precise. I think if it's really, really precise, it will just look a bit blocky and weird. But they flow a lot like this. I quite like it. It just makes it like easier to look at. I shall hydrate. Thank you very much, Kate. Oh, whoops. There we go. Let me think. Otherwise, I think that's the body done. <laughs> I probably need to head out now. I'll definitely uh, be around in Discord and I'll be back in the stream tomorrow. All right then, Livy. I have to keep on making sure I'll say your name correctly. <laughs> it's been lovely having you here and I'm glad that you've been enjoying yourself. Saying that is six. I need to leave. Whoops, I got very, very carried away with this. Right, let me finish this off. And I'm afraid I too must depart. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Give me a sec. Do that, do that, we'll make that darker. I've been very, very carried away and taking my time here. But I've been enjoying myself, it's been nice. I like chatting here. Let's make that like a bit of a nice cream. The, sp the dorsal spikes, what I can see, the dorsal spikes appear to be like a very um pale colour. I think it might just be work in progress though. Yes, yeah, so I did play Portal 2. No, no, I did not play Portal 2, I played Portal 1. Oliver, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got my hand on the keyboard, right? Because keybinds, of course, like there's uh, different keybinds and such. And I've got Oliver just nuzzling my hand. Hello, mate. Oh, it's been a big cutie. This is a bad time, Oliver. Okay, can I, can I finish this? Let me see if it'll, no, no. Is nuzzling. Stop. Cat. <laughs> Alright, let me just quickly do this. And now he's on the tablet. Oliver. I know you want food, but the more you distract me, the slower it's going to take for me to get your tail is blocking everything. I can't see a thing. And he's on my hand again. He's <laughs> just causing as much chaos as possible. Ah, theropod. Noted. In that case, bloop, done. <laughs> and I'll make it even lighter. Thank you, theropod, for confirming. This cat is actually trying to d delay his own dinner. Obviously, he doesn't know that. Just make the base a little bit darker. 
and we'll make the eyes a nice vivid orange yellow like that actually a bit more bit more yellowy there we go and i think that is this pretty much done i think i feel like i'm missing something i can confirm that after the stream when i've like had a break and you know like step back it's a good habit by the way just in general when it comes to drawing is every now and then take a step away oh whoops <laughs> Every now and then, take a step away so that you can like look at it with a fresh mind. I'll definitely be doing that, doing that myself with this one. There we go. Uh, Ollie should have been called Technoblade because he's chaotic. <laughs> he's a lovely little thing, and he is very chaotic. Just do a bit of that. There we go. Right. Let me just do the shadows and see what it looks like when it's rendered. Let me go ahead and save it. What are my thoughts on hippogriffs? Underrated. I think hippogriffs look awesome. And theropods. I'm really glad that you like it. Good. There we go. So that's what it looks like when it's rendered. With nice and shadows. And I need to just reach over Oliver and get my stream deck. There we go. He is so in the way. Over? Oh no, I meant underrated, excuse me. Yes, hippogriffs are underrated in my opinion. They should be seen more. Aren't the spikes supposed to be grey? Um, I think in the in the reference, Theropod mentioned that it's like a lighter shade of the scales. So like a lighter bluish uh, purple. I can double check it afterwards. No, the tongue, that is what is off. Thank you, that is what is off. It doesn't have a weird black tongue, I think. Maybe it does actually. There we go. Bit more of a lighter color. Just something nice and subtle. Yeah, that, that really, I think that may have been the thing that made it off. Well spotted, who was that? The boy slayer, well spotted. Imagine a hippogriff that is actually a hippogriffin. Oh god. Yeah, that I think I fixed it. Thank you. Clarus, Hydra. Right. It is six o'clock. Actually, it's five past six. <laughs> I should have left a I should have left a while ago. <laughs> but I've been really enjoying myself yet again. I do have a World of Warcraft raid in about half an hour, so I gotta eat. I gotta, I gotta run. But as always, guys, it's been... That was me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I will be back on tomorrow. I will probably be doing ARC tomorrow, I reckon. Uh, either ARC or... Actually, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know. I, I wanna do ARC. I gotta do more of a hardcore playthrough. For any new people, here is the Discord server if you want to like, you know, if you want to pester me or <laughs> just hang out with some cool people. Here is Twitter. I'll be back on tomorrow and otherwise I hope you all have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you for the company, for the conversations. And of course the donations and subs, it's been a lot today. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to go lie down. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Cheers.